Stop make, making me angry of pointing out if I start to dip because I want to know if I, I start to dip because we just changed the settings, so that'll be really good if we can figure this out. Um, but yeah, the issue is definitely not me moving the mic too far from my mouth or anything like that. <laughs> that has been suggested to me by like 11 people, so it's uh, it's, it's already been investigated. It's already been investigated. Okay, no so re no, uh, no recaps. Uh, not not recap. Sorry, no um, no backstories. We're gonna do a fact expression. All right, sounds good. Okay, so today's fact expression question is: um, it, You suddenly unlock one innate ability that cannot be turned off. Which do you choose? Being invisible or being able to read minds? That's a good question. That's a good icebreaker question. Uh, bust that out on the first date, and you'll know if uh, you'll know right away where things are headed. Um, so, while you ruminate on that, would anybody for a third hero point and a third hero card draw like to sum up what happened last week on Outlaw Sunset? Anybody? If you're interested, roll d20 in chat. If no one is interested in these uh, the the pittance that is uh, a hero point. Oh, oh, we got some rolls coming out. All right, all right. We got an 18 from Henry going once, going twice. All right, Henry, what happened last time? Oh, hold on, there we go. All right, so last week. All right, uh, we returned back to our two-day journey through the Mana Waste mm -hmm. for like our fourth day or whatever it was. Honestly, we were lost. Day two four days. of your two-day journey. Sounds yep. good. All right. Yep. Uh, we decide uh, that we're going to, that we have a decanter of endless water to hydrate ourselves. Um, what we never thought about was the fact that this is a magical item. And uh, we believe we feel the effects of magic in the air, but we don't know what it is. And maybe we'll never know. Um, but uh, after that, we decide to travel on uh, where we find an oasis. We take one look at it and we say, nah, and we just keep moving on. Eventually, we find the prow of a Viking longship. Uh, the bow rides on the desert floor as if floating on water. Um, we go and find that the figurehead uh, on it has, a wick has wicker furniture and fairy-like people inside. Um, they're Nectera. I think is what we is what they're called. Uh, basically, bat fairy people. Um, we discuss with them their situation. It seems as though they took in some tenants, uh, some unruly tenants, who have now taken over and they can't evict them. Uh, they ask us to evict them, and we're like, yeah, why not? Uh, we decide that maybe we'll just threaten the people who are down inside of the, the ship where the, the bat people live with uh, flooding them. We decide to do a warning shot, which creates another wild magic surge from the decanter, creating a wall of stone that seals the cavern shut. <laughs> we kind of shrug, tell the queen of the Nectera the situation. Um, there's a bit of a conversation, and eventually we just kind of shrug and move on because we've decided we've spent too long trying to solve other people's problems. Uh, we've got a more important quest on the way. Um, then we go, find ourselves in some Foothill, foothills, uh, which, according to Grom, feels right. Um, there's a glimmer of quartz, uh, and a, a plume of sand erupts in front of us uh, from a rifle shot. We are sniped upon by a cola, uh, you know, Pathfinder Knowles, who seems to be arguing with themselves. Uh, through, uh, through a series of tactical decisions, uh, we eventually get them to surrender. Uh, in which we learn all about uh, their story, uh, in which they're possessed by a, a gun, uh, who the gun came from a famous merchant escort, and their caravan was beset by Lamashtu worshipping Kolo, tortured, <laughs> tortured her, ate her insides while she was still alive, so she possessed her gun, then possessed one of them to kill all the others, and now wanders the desert like some vigilante. Um, and so yeah. Uh, we think it's pretty cool, uh, but ultimately we determine that we don't feel like fighting anymore, <laughs> and we let them wander the desert, uh, suffering their curse. 
Um, we then rest uh, where Grom has a dream about a spherical chamber, strange and crystalline structure. Um, there's something spiny, dangerous, prowling the outside of the sphere. It wants to break, punish, and are meek. I uh, believe it to be a religious message from Bri, uh, telling us that the place is scary and to avoid it. We decide who cares about dreams and we press on, wherein the inevitable happens. Where Fasa critically fails the recovery check, turns into a mutant gnoll, and attacks Grom, where we return, trying to save him. That's a good recap. Go ahead and take your third hero point and your third hero card draw. I do want to point out the excellent comedic timing of Grom while he was being snuck up on and then eaten by a gnoll. So, mm, so good. Good scene. Good scene. I always there to deliver that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Mm -mm. So, if anybody would like to answer the question, um, go ahead and roll a d20 in the chat. You can get a d3 that can be added to any d20 check after the fact, as long you know, as long as it's not a misfortune or you know something like that. Um, which will, uh, if you're interested in answering your question, roll a d20 in the chat. Okay, uh, we got a six from Jericho Darling going once, going twice. Uh, Jericho Darling. So if I had to pick between invisibility or reading minds, permanently they can never be turned off. Oh, it can't be turned off. That's nope. crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, I would pick reading minds mm. because I can just like use Vashon as like a book. Uh -huh. In the sense of, if he knows the pyronite formula and it's in his brain, uh -huh. I read his mind. I can like just use that to make more mm. of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you you aren't thinking about the long term side effects no. of having having to live apart from all living things, so that I you already don't do dri that. Driven mad by uh, the yeah. constant chatter of their thoughts. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. There's no long term thoughts for Jericho. Okay. There's okay. I, I'm, I'm noticing. I am <laughs> so noticing. Short term. So. Okay. Uh, you may ask the same question of any NPC that you've met previously in the campaign. Hmm. How does uh, Angelique Loveless feel? What would she like? Ooh. Um, let's see. She is disgusted by the thoughts of, uh, of, of others, which she knows in her heart to be cruel and um, selfish. She doesn't need mind-reading power to know the thoughts of others. Um, so I guess being invisible would be pretty dope. I don't know. If it's invisible, but like your clothes are still there, I mean, that seems kind of silly, but like, you know. It like, seems like cheating, though. You know, I feel like it's like a, it's a, like a cop out, you know? Well, I mean, they're all the clothes. So you, you get dressed. Every time you get dressed, your clothes turn invisible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's magic. Ah. It's all awesome star, you know? Okay, okay. I think she would still be okay with that because uh, you'd have a lot of combat benefits for being invisible all the time. Yeah. And she, she and she do like fighting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, I'll give her a Faxpiration die just in case. No. No, no, no. Uh, i give you the Faxpiration die. There we go. And then I guess we'll just jump right into it. Let's just jump right into it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Does Hogger have his own theme music? Like, I could play Hogger's music. He's like the most famous Knoll, right? I feel like he's the most famous Knoll. I don't even know who that is. Hogger? He's like, oh. wow. Road World of Warcraft. Ah, oh, no, I never, never did that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you don't know who Hogger <laughs> is, I mean, yeah, he's, <laughs> the mo he's the most famous Knoll in history. I mean, I'll, I'll uh, trust you. I'll trust you. Oh, uh, wow. OK, uh, I am. I'm actually with Leon. That's what I don't ever did yeah, the Warcraft thing. Oh, man. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Back in the back in the day, back in the day um, when there was Today? not a lot. Of you mean like right <laughs> oh, yeah. now? 
Oh yeah, that's right. Cause cla- cause classic exists. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's also in retail. Oh, is he? Yeah. They do. Uh, they do a lot with him because he's so famous. I work retail too, Hogger. Uh, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's get. Let's just. Uh, man, <laughs> I just feel this tremendous disconnect now. From, like, how is this possible? <laughs> Someone doesn't know Hogger. He's just a sweet boy. All right. Two people will happen, two will happen more group. and more as you get older. Thanks for explaining. <laughs> <laughs> I, half the time on Discord, I don't know what people are talking about. So here's here's the secret, Cap. Uh, I Google a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, Sometimes so like, like so my start? so my coworkers are all very like are all older than me, and they're always like, "Dang, you know all the cool stuff. You're so cool, <laughs> aren't?" Aren't you like in? Aren't you like forty something? You you just know everything that all the kids and the young people. Wow! They ask me. They're like, T- tell us what the what's a Riz? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. Um, yeah. But like the first time I saw Riz, I'm like, God damn it! So I had to look that up. You know what I'm saying? Like so every yeah. every time. Yeah, every time. Yeah, there was a Sometimes real. You, you look yeah. up the words and you find out something you didn't want to know. Yeah. 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 Well, Yes. You there's a special uh, there's a special session of abomination vaults where we explored the word glaze for the entire session. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pretty terrible. All right. So, Grom, you just went and then we ended the round and we went to round 2. All right. Fossa is up. All right. Oh, Fossa, am I still Am I still grasped? No, I remember? Uh you got pulled out of her mouth by That's your friend Jericho Darling. Yep. Can I remove immobilized? There you uh, go. Well, yeah, well, if you do grab, it'll take all the uh, little guys out, too. Okay. All right, so she is up. She's got three three pack man. Let me double check. She's stupefied. Um, she's on fire. Um, but other than that, she's feeling pretty good about herself. Okay. Uh, let's see. So... Now that she's a big, nasty mutant, um, she wants to use this glutton's feast. Um, that's definitely what she wants to do. Oh, I also forgot. Since she bit you, Grom, you got to save against Mana Fever now. Spicy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and burn one. Of those. <laughs> okay. Start the game. <laughs> Oh great! Spicy. Right. I got uh, it. So you are already at um, stage one, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be like one of those zombie movies where I'm just like begging people to kill me. All right. Man, that's that's really exciting. Um. Okay. Here's so the anyway. reason why we lose all our characters. <laughs> to the to the mana waste fear. I mean, it's a yep. part of being in the mana waste. Yeah. Um. All right. So now let's see. She is just going to. Hmm. Yeah. She wants to just eat somebody. I mean, Grom is the easiest to eat. Uh. But Jericho is bones. Hmm. Tough call. Uh. I mean. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna roll randomly. I'm gonna roll randomly. So on a one to two, it's Grom. On a three, it's Kelly. And on a four, it will be Jericho. Sorry, Henry. You're too, you're too beefy. All right, so Grom, she's going to try to eat you. All right, here we go. Um, this is going to be Jaws. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. It's fine. You're doing fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, critical damage. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Uh, mm, I see. All right. She's gonna use a second Pac-Man to grab. Um. I think you auto grab an unconscious person. That sounds right. Question mark. No, I think they still have to make the check. So they're going to use grab. I looked at it for two seconds. What do you mean grabs and cops? <laughs> uh, so here's the grab. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 I rolled randomly. There was like a 50% chance she was going to try to eat someone else. He's so small and tasty though. Um, Alright, let's see. 
Uh, grab EFG. All right. Oh, she fails by two. All right. Because, like, you still have to try to grab somebody, right? Even if they're unconscious. You just auto-grab people in Pathfinder. Um, maybe. There's no auto-anything anymore. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Um, let's see. Swallow hole. Um, the monster attempts to swallow a creature of the listed size or smaller that has grabbed in its mouth. Oh, so since it missed with that... All right. Um, then I guess she'll try again grom but this will be at map nah since she failed she'll just start fighting she'll just start fighting um but she does get temp hp oh yeah two temp hp fuck yeah okay um uh yeah jericho she will attack you at map with her last action um sure yeah so here we go Ouch. All right. Uh, for 17 points of damage. And because of all the marrow that, you know, the factory for blood in a, in a body, um, you can be diseased in your marrow. So go ahead and give me a saving throw against that. Damn, uh, my yeah. marrow. Yep, here you go. Thank you. Um, yes, so this would have landed benefits work for this. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Can we just call the session now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to use all my hero points right now because we're kind of going to a, a really dangerous place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll accept this. I'll accept this. All right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it could be fun to be a mutant. I mean, she looks like Foss is having fun. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay. So that is her turn. Henry, to you. All right, uh, man. Uh, Henry, knowing we're going to a dangerous place, still uses class might because he is not, he can't see his friends die at the hands of another friend. So he, uh, he has a plus two to mm -hmm. all this stuff coming. All now right. I got a, I got a question for Henry. She's not low enough in health yet to consider this, but I mean, you are a fighter, so who knows? You might bust out a hundred damage in one hit. Are you going non-lethal on Fossa? Uh, or... he he's looking at her un he he's going to try at some point, but not with his mm -hmm. first hit. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. They, it's very much a Pokemon mini game in Pathfinder. Like the last hit has to be non lethal. Yep. yep. Alright, here we go. Uh and there's an additional two to that. Actually okay. I should have applied it but I forgot. An regular. additional two is a regular hit. Okay. And then let's see. Supposed to also be another two on this, so let's see if we can do this. All right, there you go. All right, yep, N All right. 19 damage. All right, she she turns slowly as if noticing you for the first time. <laughs> okay, um, did that other two? Let me see, just want to double check here. 13 plus 6. Oh, there should have been another 2 on top of that, but I, I added it. It just didn't add. I don't know. Oh, oh I probably didn't. I forgot to hit the add button at, before I hit the roll. Sorry, I always do that. Uh, he's just going to keep going. <laughs> and this time, maybe uh, the player will do this right. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you added your stuff to that this time, right? I, I did add it that time. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, that does right. not hit. That does not hit. Okay. Well, he just has to roll with that. Okay. And he's got that plus two. Or he's does he? Mm. Nah, uh, he's not. He's not <laughs> his player is not that big of a risk taker. Okay. Uh, he is willing to, you know, uh, keep burning through, even though it doesn't always make sense to mm -hmm. do this. But he's got the plus two, so he might as well try to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, with uh, triple triple map, double map, uh, whatever the term is, you do land that last attack. Give me the damage. And that's everything. Alrighty, that's 20 points of damage. She is bloodied. Alright. <laughs> Henry uh, just slams a couple times, just yelling like, Stop eating Grom! And just <laughs> ends this turn. <laughs> Alright, you have her full attention for now. 
Kelly McLean, you're up. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is drag Grom. Uh, oh, we have a thing for that now. It's called reposition. You have to target them and use reposition to, to do it. They heard us crying in Abomination Vaults that we could not move our friends around. So in the revise, they added an action, but they wouldn't let you do it automatically. All right, you may move him five feet. Where do you want him to go? Here? Yep, so All trying right. to get him, get him less of a target. All right. We are then going to use one of our hero points to do a healing prayer. Get Grom 10 health back. All right, nice. And our last action will be to uh, draw our sword. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Jetri. All right. Jetri. Yep, just reload. Install. Demoralize is the choice today. Very nice. Uh, she is demoralized, so frightened one. Okay. Reload again. Alright, that's gonna hit. Okay. Perfect. Is that your turn? It is my turn. All right, cool. Uh, all right, um, Jericho, darling, to you. All right. Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. The B team companion abilities are those once per session or are those once per day? They are essentially refocus, right? So as long as they have ten minutes, they can be used again. Gotcha. So we, we, we could use them now and it wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 5e terms, they're short rest abilities. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Fossa's B team ability probably isn't. <laughs> She's currently <laughs> unable to assist with that, yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would assume. Uh, I'm going to use Wood Chop. Okay. Um. Gosh, woodshop abilities are so good. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the reaction distracting trigger. Yeah, I mean, look at this guy. Uh, so I'm about to strike, trip, or disarm a target. Uh, the target's off guard to this strike, trip, or disarm. Oh, well, I mean, she's off guard you already, right? Because oh, of just, Henry? Oh. oh, I guess she would be. Sorry, woodshop. Yeah. Just kidding. Go back on the bench, and I'm going to just try to trip her. <laughs> Poor woodshop. Okay. Sorry, sorry, watch out. Uh, so trip is somewhere on here. Right? It's there for sure. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Second to last uh, one. Second to last one. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. It's not it looks like there. a bone being snapped, which is rough. I don't want to trip because my bone got snapped, but. Damn. Okay. Uh, no trip for me, uh, but I am just going to punch her then. Okay. The punch will be at map though because it's trip. Yes. All right. Yes. See, I'm trying to avoid the the punch, punch, punch. Gotcha. Hmm. Tragic. Okay. Mm. Uh, last action. I'm gonna raise a shield. All right. Uh, play passes to Grom. Some Grom. might call him the Desert Pickle. Yes. Yes. I stand up. All right. First action. Uh, and I will run, run. run. <laughs> I'm far away now. I'm... Yeah, you should be fine. 
Well, just in case, I will <laughs> stagger over here somewhere. Yeah. What, that 20 feet? Oh, that was 35, right to there. I'll pull out a potion, and I guess I'm done after pulling out a potion. Okay. I'm done. All right. Play passes to Fossa. Uh, Fossa really wanted to eat somebody. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> all right. You guys would be really mad if I did this, but I think it'd be pretty funny. So. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to do it anyways. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. So here's how it's gonna go. Um, Henry, uh, she is going to, uh, you're the only one that has opportunity attack, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, she's going to use Glutton's Rush. So for two Pac-Mans, uh, she can stride twice and make a Jaws strike. Uh, and if they damage a living creature with the strike, the temporary hit points they get from Glutton's Feast increases to 2d4. Um, now, she could step and then run after Grom, but she wants to try to put him in her mouth. Uh, and I feel like that's thematically more important for her in this current state of mind than to tactically step away from you. Uh, so here she goes! Alright, well, he's going to make the strike, and okay. he gets that plus two because it's till his next turn. Okay, sure. Uh, so are you gonna... Oh, it's it's not non-lethal, huh? Oh no, shit! No, he's just oh. he, he goes okay. raw. I don't All right. matter. All right. All right. Let's see the that. damage. Uh, let's add that. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, it was weak, anyways. All right, you held. Yeah, weak. Twenty-eight. You held back. Uh, all right, she's near death. DC twenty-one save. fortitude. Oh yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, here we go. That's awesome. Oh, so she fails by one and is knocked prone. Dang, <laughs> dang. How does that even work? Does it just shut down her whole ability? She just spent two Pac-Mans and lost her whole turn to that. That's insane. Uh, all right. And then I guess she will spend her last action. Hmm. Now she's really upset. Um, well, she doesn't want to lose it. It says Glutton's Rush. Strides twice and makes a jaw strike. So, fuck it. She'll jaw strike you, Jericho. Uh, to finish oh, up her me? her glutton's rush. She doesn't want to lose it, you know. She doesn't oh want to lose gosh. it. All right, here we go. Uh, miss, and then I guess she'll snap at you from the ground. Are we? Uh, with her last back, man, and she'll stay prone. Uh, here's the damage. That was clutch AF right there. Um, all right, Henry, to you. All right, uh, I guess Henry has to step over here. You want to hear something bananas? Before, what was it? Before um, the revision, that thing automatically would knock people prone. Like that, if yep. you can imagine. Yeah, it's so, yeah, ridic it's so ridiculous. ridiculous. All right, is there a toggle for non-lethal or do I just... Uh, it there down? should be, but um, I don't know how you do it. Alright, uh, what's it, just a minus two? It's a minus two, yep. I'll just add it. Alright, he's gonna try to get, you know, knock her unconscious while she's there, and, uh, go for the bonk on the head. Uh, let's see. Damage. Recovery. Hmm, okay. And damage. So she is out. She's unconscious, not dead, but she is on fire. Oh. Ha. Uh, I'll probably finish her. Uh, let me see. He's got one more Pac-Man. I think it's two Pac-Man. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, she is not unconscious because she has Death's Door. Um, so she survives one hit point, but is fatigued. Oh, and it may immediately make a single Bailey strike against a creature with a breach. Okay. So, um, yeah, sure. She'll attack you. Uh, here we go. Ah, that'll hit. Alright. Oh, also, Jericho, you already got the disease, but Henry, you're gonna have to give me a save against mana fever. Alright. Alright. 
Oh my gosh, I guess I'm in using a hero point. Incredible, incredible. What? Yo, what about solidarity? Oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Wait, Henry, uh, Henry, Henry, Henry. Oh. So if you want, we have Vashon. So if you critically fail an attack skill check or saving throw, you may re-roll a triggering roll. Okay, oh. but you're you don't, off, you don't you're lose a hero guard. point. You're off guard until your next turn, but that'll be what you uh. get around it if you don't want to use a hero point. Okay, so I guess I'll keep the hero point, but I'm off guard and I still failed. And All you right. still fail. All right. <laughs> Sounds well, good. Thank you. Fail, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's All true. Right. He's, he's going to be one stage behind you guys. <laughs> okay, and so he still has one more attack, which he will try to do. Well, one more action. And he will try to do this non lethal box. I mean, somebody else will probably finish her off, but he can't do it. Here we go. No, just go to sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so that will take her out. But if she takes fire damage, she, she'll she'll die. So yeah. somebody's got to put the fire out if you intend to save her. I, she, she's got to leave it up to everybody else at this point. That's his turn. All right. Kelly McLean. The doctor, question mark? How do you put fire out? <laughs> um... So this is one of those creative design spaces in Pathfinder 2 where you could be like, I pour my water skin on them. And then uh, that gives them like a chance immediately to, you know, make another flat check, possibly reduce the amount. Or like I jump in a lake or, you know, I use the decanter of endless water on them and that automatically puts them out, like stuff like that. And then it turns the field into tar and we all die. <laughs> yeah. you know? But it's it, yeah, gasoline. It's, yeah, <laughs> in the wild surge is nothing but gasoline. Um, you pour a stone wall on the fossa. I'm, I'm just providing some random examples. <laughs> but yeah, the idea is you 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 have to bullshit something you're doing that would justify um, uh, that type of assistance to put out the the the, uh, the effect. Um, now there are actual. I think feats like skill feats and and healer stuff that relates to ending ongoing effects, but there is also just the ability to help with those. All right, um, or you just let it go. I mean, maybe she's too far gone. I will try to um, start trying to pour dirt on her, try to smother the fire. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Mm -mm. So I don't want to risk a magic surge this time. All right. Appropriate help. Um, you are providing appropriate help, such as dousing you in water. The DC, the flat check is reduced to 10. This means it makes it easier for you to end the persistent, uh, persistent damage automatically end. Certain actions can automatically end the condition due to the type of help received. Um, in the example, uh, they provide healing. You get healing um, that restores you to max HP. It ends persistent bleeding. Submersion. Submerging yourself in a lake or other body of water can end persistent fire damage. So you kind of like, you know, throwing dirt onto her and like trying to fight the fire. That's going to reduce the check to 10. She's still going to take that damage though. Okay. Uh, before she gets to make the check is the problem. But if she had some healing, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, I think when you do the recovery action, I think you can make an automatic check right away. Is that, am I remembering that wrong? Uh, let me see. Uh, recovery check. Um, we need to recovery check. Um, yeah, okay, let's just, uh, yeah, we'll just do it here, that's fine. What action is and to end the damage early? I can do first aid stabilize, but I'm not sure if that's... Okay, you can take steps, um, okay. This is a, uh, an activity requiring two actions, it must be something that would reasonably improve your chances. The GM decides how the help works, the action to help might recover a skill check or other role that determines effectiveness, reduce the DC of the flat check to 10, um, appropriate to the type of help automatically in the condition if it would do so after the number of actions required to help you um, so the rules are intentionally vague okay um, 
So this person devised a rough template for actions, uh, assist recovery, one to three actions, attempt to check with a skill or saving throw, determine the DM, uh, critically succeed, the creature gets to make a flat check to uh, against the damage immediately. Success, they get to make a flat check immediately uh, at 10. Failure, they get to make a check immediately. Oh, that's kind. And then critical failure, they don't get a check. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, I'm gonna say, yeah, alright, go ahead and give me a medicine check, uh, because you're applying the, the dirt to, like, the worst places, the most sensitive spots to try to, like, get the fire to, to go out. Yeah, assist recovery action, that's cool. Okay, um, oh yeah, 28, no problem. Okay, so, I'm gonna say that 28 would not be a critical success, we'll for a 20, but it is a success. So, she gets to immediately make a flat check against the persistent damage, it's a DC 10. Alright, uh, Henry, she's your NPC, why don't you roll it? Oh, sorry, just roll a d20? That... Yeah, just roll, just roll d10, 20, you're trying to get 10 or higher. Hey, Alright, so she is unconscious, no longer on fire. And I now have a cool house rule called Assisted Recovery. That's cool. All right. Thanks, Reddit. Oof. Well. So what now, guys? Well, that was a uh, unexpected uh, thing that just happened. Um... Well, I, I think I have three downtime actions I need to do right away. Oh, what are they? Treat, treat disease. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah. Treat, treat disease takes some time, yeah? Or do you have a feat for it? No, it's just, it's just a medical <laughs> trained. I can, I can do that. I do give a bonus to it, though, I think. Oh, um, I got you. Mm -mm. Oh, you, you mean... You're going to use three of your four meta days that you're about to unlock uh, to treat disease. That's a good idea, actually. Um, because Jericho, Darling, and Grom, you have already jumped to day one of Mana Fever. So you are stupefied one and fatigued. Oh, God. Uh, Henry, tomorrow morning, we're going to check in on you. See how things are going. All right. Where tomorrow... do we go about this Mana Fever? Can it be recovered? Any smart people know this? Um, have you guys done a recall knowledge on this? Uh, we might have. Alright, Kelly, why don't you give me a recall knowledge? I'll give you a, a lower DC on it because you guys have been dealing with it. Mm -mm. Okay, um, let's see, Kelly... <sighs> All right, you don't understand exactly what's going on here, but wait, hold on. You rolled, uh, you were targeting Henry, so you only rolled uh, skills appropriate for Henry. Can you? Oh. Yeah, can you give me a fresh one? Yep. Okay. All right, nice. Um, okay, so you know that Man of Fever um, a creature can't remove the fatigued condition while they are infected. Oh, okay. Um, so that's the ongoing shitty part of it. Um, so right away, um, you, you gotta worry about that. There's an onset of one day. So, Henry, you won't be worrying about it until tomorrow. Um, if you make the save tomorrow... Um, I guess you're fine, question mark. Do you get two saves? That doesn't really make sense. You get an initial save, and then a day goes by, and it goes to stay, uh, it goes to stage one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then you would have to check on stage two day. Anyways, stage one is fatigued and stupefied. A day later, fatigued and stupefied two. Uh, a day later, fatigued and stupefied three. A day later, immunity to mana fever, but you become a mana waste mutant. So when I do do the treat disease, um, I increase the circumstance bonus to a plus four. Right, right. Because of robust recovery. I 
question is a mutant, a mutant forever. Um, oh, yeah, following up on that. <clears throat> yeah, once you are a mutant, you don't have the you don't have the disease anymore per se. You can spread the disease, but a, once you are a mutant, you are a mutant. Now, there are recorded cases of people who have learned to live with their mutations. Um, there is some uh, amount of um, fear and um, scorn for mutants within the city of Alkenstar. We we hog tired. Well, I mean that's as good as leaving her for dead at that point. Yeah. If we hog tire. I mean, if I do so. We move her into the cave. Then they're just gonna leave her. Yeah. Well, like it, with the pack and food. I mean, that's... leave her, leave her here and then head out. Or do you you want to try to bring her with you? I feel like just kind of leaving her know. is rather. Uh, I don't know. Bleak. I think I'd feel bad. Yeah. Jen, well, we can... Woodshop, Woodshop stands right next to you. He says, "You wouldn't leave me if I got turned into a mutant, would you?" No, I wouldn't, because you're my friend. <laughs> I wouldn't oh. do that to my friend. Oh, but Foss is my friend. Is she your friend? I guess I can't do it then too. If she's your friend, <laughs> it gives it gives you a big hug. Henry looks around like, "What the? Fuck? <laughs> Look, why, don't we, why don't we? Let's talk about it. Why don't we hop tired up?" Look her up, see if she'll get her faculties, and then if she doesn't, uh, I look to Henry and it's like, she's your friend. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst idea. She, she tried to eat me. I know she tried to eat you, but if she can, like, if it's just like, oh, I transformed and I didn't have my faculties, and then she wakes up and has her faculties, like, I can understand going through a very, like, uh, transport like you know body transform thing that you might not all be up there in your head <laughs> uh, Vashon says uh maybe you should be asking Grom what Grom wants he's the one she was trying to gobble up I just I just don't want her to eat anybody if, if, if you can keep her under control and, she can keep her up. her up and see what to see what she says Ground, there's some healing for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, tying her up uh, did it mean, but I mean, she tried to eat Grom. And... No offense. I may have known her for as long as I've been working, but Grom, we're kind of in a shitty situation. Uh, I mean, I'm there's not going to let hurt you. Oh, oh, thanks. If you can tie her up or make sure she doesn't eat anybody, I'm fine right. with you. So in Pathfinder, um, if you are tied up by a creature, the escape DC is that creature's uh, thievery DC. So 10 plus your thievery is the amount that she would have to uh, make on an escape check to get free. Now, I'm, I would not have her roll like more than more than three checks. So she would try once, twice with map. And the third time was super map, and then we would say, "Oh, the ropes are too good," um, because if you just kept letting a person try over and over again, what's the point of tying them up? You know what I'm saying? Do you have uh, manacles uh, there, Kelly? I do not. I left mine at home. I oh, have broken. Guys, guys, there is this new item that I got from GM's Day. I'm gonna post it into um, chat. Lassos. Lasso. <laughs> pretty cool right. right can you guys click on it or no yep okay there's also if you're a little kinky there's barbed lassos ground will try and tie her up and if you're a nerd there's net guns uh, i had a character i had a character building a net gun for uh, <laughs> tomb of annihilation <laughs> oh what's your theory skill at ground uh, 12. 12. Oh, nice. 12, so it'd be 22. Okay. All right, so you, you tie her up uh, using some rope. 
Um, do you use a full 50 foot coil or do you cut the ropes so that you have some uh, left over? I'll use a full 50 foot coil and then I'll borrow some more and use that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you, mummi you mummify her in rope. Got it. Alright, so 50 feet of rope. I'll move it from your sheet onto hers because I guess she's equipped with it now. She's wearing that rope. Alright. Um, cool. Where's the so, party loot again? Is that where the uh, is that where the rope is in the party loot? Yeah, no, I was just wondering where it, how to get to. The, I keep forgetting how to open the party loot. It's on the on the okay. actors tab with the G. I think there's also a key, right? Just P. Just press P too. Oh P. Ah, much better. Oh, stash. the stash. Okay. Stash. Is that where I could find the rope? Where's this rope at? There's oh, rope on my there, sheet. But I, I have rope if they don't have rope. I also have bolas. Thought, I don't have the, rope. I thought somebody else Yeah, it's in the bag of holes. All right, I'm so taking. I'm taking one. I'm taking one of your ropes, sir. So wait, where's right. the bag of holding if it's not a stash? Because if she hulks, because if she hulks out of it, you down one thing of rope. And I, what I learned Sunday morning is that some some parties don't carry rope with <laughs> them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we thought we didn't have our grappling. Uh, Henry has a spacious pouch, and so it's on his sheet. Yeah, that's that's not something you generally brag about, but okay. <laughs> uh, spacious pouch. No, no, Jet was asking where it was. I know. What's in it, though? All right. Um, do you guys wait for her to wake up, or do you wake her up? Because in this, people wake up, quote-unquote, when the GM thinks they should, which is kind of a neat mechanic. Uh, I'm going to step back, because I don't think she should wake up next to me. <laughs> okay, fair. And then I'm I mean, also going to, like, uh, yeah, climb up there. Go all, go all the way up there, Grom. Just go ahead and just make your way up there. I can't. I'm too weak. <laughs> You're too weak. Do you, do you boost him? Do you give him a boost? Henry boosts him. I'm okay, not strong. Okay, you, so. you boost him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Henry boosts him, and then he stands in the way. All, all right, right, all right, all right. She starts to groan a little bit, and her, her eyes kind of flicker a bit, and you see uh, her uh, her kind of looking around blearily. And she says, uh, So hungry. Oh. Uh, here, and then Henry throws all the scorpion rations at her because they're mutant <laughs> meat and we're not going to eat them. Okay. She, she tries to eat them, but, you know, she's tied up real good. Um, I guess I'll try a force open to see, or escape, see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Escape. Um, it says her highest is question mark. Hmm. Oh, plus 18. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> okay. So she just like breaks out of the ropes like this, like they're fucking made of paper mache. <laughs> and then she starts eating the scorpion meat. And she says, mm. Good. Henry, you're so small. Yep, Fossa, you, you got a little big there. She looks around. I'm... My clothes, my armor. Mm. Foss, you, uh... I think... I think the sickness took you. You've become the very thing you've hunted. When you say that... She just is, like, almost petrified. But... No, I. No. Uh, and she she's looking around like, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? How uh, how are you feeling? Well, she ate all the scorpion already. Okay, uh, all all <laughs> the scorpion mutants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her stomach is just like. Bruh. Like, uh, like this, just, yeah, big pot belly. And she says, uh, tired. I'm tired. Maybe I should, I should rest. Yeah, well, uh, 
we gotta we gotta continue on, but we're I think you should rest here and we'll be back. <laughs> 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 yes, <sir. laughs> yeah. The fact that you now have a pickle status effect, ah, oh, so good, so good. All right, uh, she goes to sleep. She definitely seems a bit out of it, but more like aware than she was. All right. Hey, Henry. Yep. Let me get one of them ropes from them pouches. <laughs> what? Well, why do you want the rope? Because <laughs> they used my rope, and now I don't have a rope. Where did they use I... your use your? Did you what? did you wrote you write your name on it? They took it out there. There were four ropes in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's my rope. Never mind. I checked my. Pen. No. Uh, <laughs> the, I, I listen. Everything in everything in the in the spacious pouch is right there in Discord for you to look at. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was like looking into it. I saw my rope. <laughs> Actually, no, I see my grappling hook. I would look that back for shit. <laughs> um, alright. Uh, I think, I think our best bet is to leave her here. He looks at everybody. He has no idea. He's, he's not a, he's not a smart boy. Oh, man. Alright. Um, <clears throat> Henry, we. As much as I'd love to take her with us, she's a bit, uh. She's a bit feral. Um, and we're going about to go somewhere pretty dangerous, and we really can't afford to have any loose cannons around, and mm -hmm. we gotta go, like, quick. Isn't that, like of... of... Isn't that one of Kelly's things, being a loose cannon? Yeah, but he's cool. I mean, uh, aren't you looking a bit feral yourself? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I start scratching my bones. Bone spurs. Uh, bone. No, yeah. no uh, honestly, uh, I think you're well, right. Yeah, it, it's really gross. Like, the bones, they're like leaking like a kind of a weird brownish fluid. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. And we're kind of in a rush to get this to this Kosawana guy because we don't want anyone else to find out where he is before we do. And we've already been delayed a lot by having to walk two days. <laughs> I, I'm 100. percent I mean, I'm 100 percent with you. I was I was looking to see if somebody would talk me out of this decision. Okay, so you guys have this, you guys are having this conversation as you walk away. Okay, got it, got it. I wish I could, but like, unfortunately, it's one of those <laughs> bad choice. So, all right, once you're to this point, there's not a whole lot we can do for them. Oh, let's leave her some rations at least, you know, and maybe some water. Do you have rations I, to spare? I just yeah, gave her 11 scorpion rations. <laughs> if you said to eat them all? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I don't have rations to spare. Yeah, uh, we, don't, we don't have anything to spare. I think in her state, she'll be able to figure it out. Maybe she'll meet up with that other colo that we ran into that's, you know, mom controlled by the gun. <laughs> Hey, hey then, Kelly, go go like, heal, be go patch friends. her up before yeah, before we leave. They like be friends, and they'll uh, they'll like explore the man ways together. It's like one of them love stories I've read about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I choose to believe will happen. If I I, I would like to believe that too, Henry. <laughs> I'll give a quick treat wounds to him before I leave. Okay. Patch her up best I can, I guess. So, as you guys head out and continue following the trail of uh, course and, and whatnot, you you patching everybody up. You said. I already did give everyone okay, around. Okay. Patch right. and then I patched up Faso for fourteen too before we left. All right, fair enough. Okay, um, it's not long now, y'all. You're you're almost there. Two more saying. days, guys. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, two more days. One more day. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like it's more like two more hours. It's more like two more hours. Um. 
Okay. So, um, let me, uh, let me see if there's any Flava text. I hope so, because you worked really hard to get here. We worked really hard. Alright. Uh, a wide paved road covered by blown sand leads to a two-level platform set before the great temple's entrance. Nice. Alright, was there flavor text before that, though? Let me see. Um... No? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... Let's see. Um... A stone shelf above the entry provides shade. There is a double door, ten feet tall, made of weather-beaten bronze, and the walls surrounding the bronze portal are inscribed... Don't be worried, portal just means door. Um, you know, Pathfinder kids. Um, are inscribed with an intricate network of gears that circle the doorway and cover most of the visible surface. Massive, crystalline spears of ice-blue quartz jut from the surrounding cliffs. And you can see several window shafts have been cut into the face of the cliff, showing only darkness beyond. Half buried in the sand on the steps of the temple are the ancient bones of a mighty, long-dead dinosaur. Mm. All right, I'll take you over to the map. Let me, uh, let me adjust some stuff real quick before you're moving around. Uh, config, lighting, yeah, okay, everything should be good. Alright. So, bronze doors, uh, windows cut into the stone. I guess they're not really dark beyond, because, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure you just look in the windows, because that windows work. Um, yeah. Uh, you peek into the room. Looks like there's light. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that like a crystalline, like, lantern torch thing? It is. It is. It is a hexagonal um, quartz crystal that is levitating in its sconce, uh, providing a continual light. Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Going. Henry would like to actively search this entire area before we go anywhere. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so let's uh, let's queue up some exploration activities. Rom avoiding notice, not a bad idea. That's fair. That's fair. It doesn't work though. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Some people give anything to be seen, you know? Does Grom's wounded one go away since Kelly treated wounds on him? Um, is, is I like, believe, yeah, I believe yeah, that's how that works. Was, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure that. fatigued or something made it so it can't, but yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, if you're fatigued, yeah, you're right. You can't, you can't avoid notice because you're fatigued. Yeah, never mind. Uh, Jericho, you can't do anything oh, cool either. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Yeah. You guys shouldn't be so eager to get diseased all the time. I just, it's so fun. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Henry. Yeah, you guys can see in that window. I guess I could provide you flavor text if it is available. Let me see. I guess. DM of the year. Windows are cut into the walls of the sparse chamber. Uh, beyond, uh, you see a dank, dusty, sand shrewn chamber. Um, the furniture long ago given into destruction and decay. A single hexagonal quartz crystal hovers in a sconce, providing continual light. Grom is uh, scared and sick, but he's also super eager to find a guy here. So. Oh, yeah. 
Um, all you gotta do is just walk at the oh, just walk at that front door, I guess, and you guys uh, hit your milestone. So that's cool. Oh well, screw it's searching it. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is searching a step before he even goes up. The door. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Uh, Grom can't do that. Henry did a perception. All right, so Henry, you did notice that there were windows over here as well. Uh, cut into the stone and a window over here where Grom has wandered off by himself. No, Grom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jet, <laughs> Jet is scouting, so everyone will get a plus one their initiative. Uh, and Kelly is investigating, so give me a recall knowledge, Kelly. I need to just make this a quick hit button. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, that's what you the hot bar should expand to give you like 25 or 50 different uh, buttons you could do. Um, damn, that's a wow. Okay. Um, so, Kelly, you know beyond any shadow of a doubt that this is definitely. Oh, <laughs> this is definitely the cradle, of course. Uh, you have no doubt in your mind that this is the cradle, of course. Um. What else would this uh, let's tell you with all those checks that you made? Um, Dino bones. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah, that is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, uh, for sure. And then, uh, what else would you know? You might have a little bit. Like maybe you were reading on the plane or something. Let me see. Um. All right. So you know that course is a holy stone for the servants of the Clockwork Goddess. Um, so you could definitely understand why they would choose this site because the abundance of this, uh, the quartz crystals, uh, and the, the beauty of them, uh, in this kind of stark desert, it, it creates an incredible contrast there. Um, you don't believe there's any particular meaning to the mosaic other than to just be intricate and beautiful. Um, while you are recalling this knowledge and Henry is being careful, it looks like Jericho wandered over to these bones. Jericho, what's the situation yeah. with you and these bones? Well, I wanted to refill my rations. Okay, so, so <laughs> as soon as you begin collecting the bones, uh, oh, they begin to rattle gonna move. Oh. and shift and assemble themselves. And so we will roll initiative. I really hate when your snack just starts to get up and around. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping for an easy snack. Uh, Alright, gotta get Woodshop out of here. Um, Vashon runs away. Sweet pup. There we go. And that's it. That's, that's the rest of your B team. Okay. That's, that's it. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a costly journey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I get a roll from Jet Re? Um. Hey, Grom. What? Uh, Woodshop gives up this great passive that whenever we roll an Eshto, we can move five feet. Do you want to, like, move five feet away? Before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can. Dwelling? I would like to move more than five feet away. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. Yeah, you know, it's only only uh, one one. Yeah. All right, so yeah, each of you can move five feet if you uh, like. It's just it's just one. Oh, just oh. one of you. Oh, just one of you. Okay. All right. Um. So let me change the music out real quick. And now we suddenly only have three B team members to keep track of. I think I moved five feet closer to its head, though. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a mistake. <laughs> All right. All you right. an addition on fusion from Vashon as well. Uh, does Speed have a? Oh, eight attempts. Okay. Okay. So, Henry, you've won the initiative. You know that the bones are doing something, but they have not assembled into a creature yet. So, what do you want to do? Well, since he has the initiative. And yeah. he rolled a natural 20. He will delay. Oh, okay. I know, nah, it's, it's perfect. Okay, alright. So you delay, wait, waiting to see waiting to see what happens? Okay. Oh, yeah, 
I can smash the head, but like, I, you know, it's like when a, a video game boss tra changes forms and you keep attacking and doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this guy knows. Uh, alright, so the bones, um, they don't seem to be, Jericho, animating in the way that a skeleton should. The bones are being pulled together, not by necromancy, but by the sand itself. Okay. So the sand is operating like some kind of ooze, and it is pulling the bones together and assembling mm -hmm. itself into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A so it's, it mud. so it's bones, but it's it's sand that's puppeting the bones. So should I I should punch the ground is what you're saying? Maybe. Um. All right. So this uh, this thing, whatever it is, uh, has now uh, essentially a entered the initiative. All right. Um. Cool. Um. Well. I mean, it likes bones. I just, <laughs> you know, yeah. We have the shared interest with each other. All right, let's see. So it could trample, though. That'd be pretty hype. Strides up to double speed. Move through the spaces of creatures of this side, trampling each creature. Um, content to trample the same once in a single trample. Oh man, trample sounds pretty dope. Um, but eating Jericho sounds pretty good too. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, man. All right. Uh, I think it'll get opportunity attacked if it tr uh, tramples. Yeah, and, like it just says it moves at speed, move through the spaces of creatures to the listed size. So it feels like it's just asking uh, Henry to r wreck it. So. Uh, Henry, Henry already had the hammer ready. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? I think this is an important lesson for for Jericho. Like sometimes your food will try to eat you. I think that's that's the important that's the important lesson here today. All right. So yeah, it's gonna go ahead and try and bite Jericho. Uh, twenty-four. All right. That All is. Right. Oh, actually. Is what? That a crit? No, it's not. Sorry, I was defending my mistake. So. Uh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. 24, uh, huh? 24 damage, and then it's going to try to do a grab on you. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. It says here as a plus 21. All right. Here we go. Just uh, thir 38. So you just said yeah. I, I feel like I blacked out there for a <laughs> So 38, that would be a critical success. I don't know what happens when you critically succeed on a grab. Um, or, probably something not great for me. Um, uh, let me let's check. See. Grapple. Critical success. Your target is restrained. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. All right. I'm and then... Restrained. All right. And then storytelling-wise, it would definitely make sense if it lifted you up into its mouth. So we'll put you 15 feet in the air. All right, and then it's going to, with map, try to crunch down on you, break up those bones, and add you to its mass. So here we go. I am not the apex predator of bones, it seems. All right, so that's uh, another uh, 18 points of damage. Ow. All right, and that is its turn. Uh, Henry, to you. Yeah, he's gonna hop in here. Okay. Uh, I guess he'll step. Uh, All right, not a bad I idea. Have. And then I guess he he going to attack. Our first attack is always just your your basic attack. Ah. Oh, that's a miss, guys. Okay. <laughs> he swings it and misses, uh, and then he's like, "Well, um," uh, and then he has one more, and he looks to see what he's got. Um, yeah. Oh, you missed on the 24. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. That's crazy. Uh, yep. He's just, I get, we're just going to roll with this map here. Uh, boy. Nope. Mm. Guys, this is, uh, this thing's a little hard to hit. I'm just go swinging right through the giant gaping holes. And that's his turn. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should free and get inside. 
I mean, there is a door right here. All right, we need to free Jericho, though. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Kelly, to you. Yeah. Well, who's got the water jug? I think Jericho had it last. But if I don't <laughs> want to take it from me, I wish he would have given it up. Oh, uh, it sounds like if it's on your sheet, it never, no one did want to take it from you, so I'm gonna, gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Is it on my sheet? I don't know, is it? Yeah. Okay, well there you go. That's where it is. Uh, alright. So, Kelly, what do you got? Uh, shoot. Uh, because first things first. We are going to do a uh, devise a stratagem. <laughs> I love the close up. Hey, a 12. That's not a bad okay. one. Okay, well, solid, solid. And um, we will draw our pistol and fire. So you did apply the twelve. You did a twelve to that, right? Which puts it up to a twenty-four, which is still going to be a miss. Okay. Unfortunately, I think that's it for me. Okay. Uh, play passes to Jericho, darling. Come on, guys, just crit. That'll hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used my crit on initiative. <laughs> Um, I guess I I'm gonna have to heal myself because this thing will just chew me apart, and I don't really like that. Yeah, All right. So I'm gonna use my uh, my seeing restoration on myself here uh, for one pack of bombs. Uh, well, remember you can't use any a attack or manipulation actions except escape or force open because you are restrained. That's incredibly yeah, it, it, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it ain't it ain't fifth edition. That's for sure. Hmm, okay. Is it a de is it is it a flat check or I just can't use manipulate actions? Uh it straight up mm -hmm. says any you can't use movement. any attack or manipulate actions except to attempt escape or force open. That's uh unfortunate. Alright, I guess I'll just try to escape then. Okay. Okay. I guess target the creature for escape. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I overdrive? Hang on, because if I can overdrive, this will make make it easier. I mean, is it? No, it's, it's a yeah. Damn. Yeah. Told me it wasn't. Okay. Do do do. Uh, I'm imagining yeah. like your head falls off and all the bones just fall out of it. That's your escape action. That would make sense, yeah. Um, but this thing again oh my god more more than just the t-rex skull crunching down on jericho you guys can see like uh tendrils of sand like pulling uh her into the mouth and holding her in place so envision the skeleton but slithering inside and around it is like sand um like like venom symbiont style but like controlling the bones um, I'm gonna use a hero point on that because, like, I could try it at map, but uh -huh. it's just, I don't think it's gonna work out. Hey, they're uh, your hero points. Yeah. I'm gonna use a hero point. You are trying to hit a DC 31. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oof. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to just try again. So, all right. I think I can do, so I gotta try with map. Okay. Nope. All right. That's it. And you can't attempt again until. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, play passes to Jet Re. Uh, okay. Just use my free 10 feet of movement. And also whip out my pistol. Then. Uh. Use another Pac-Man, take out my other pistol, and then just go for a twin shot. Twenty-four. 
26 is going to hit. Alright, so the f the one hits for nine. I gotta check something real quick. Uh, mandatory. Okay. Um, as you fire um, at the creature, you are using concussive. Um, so this is going to do bludgeoning. Otherwise, it wouldn't do any damage at all. All right, so I'll I'll manually apply it because it's like no, I'm I don't take that damage. Um, all right, so the concussive trait activates, and you realize that this thing would ignore nine points of piercing damage, no sweat. All right, that is my turn. Okay, um, Grom, to you. Grom is going to flee. Help us thing okay. doesn't attack him when he flees. Hmm, that's a big risk. All right, let's do it. It does not attack you. He's going to target it and do a recall knowledge. Let's see what that sand stuff is and what it might be. What he might be able to use on it. Oh, fair enough. Um, you, with this check... Um... Mm -mm -mm. Let me double check. You are unable to figure out exactly what's going on here. All right. Uh, um, but you do know that skeletons, uh, not Jericho skeletons, but like monster skeletons in the wild, uh, they generally have resistance to piercing and slashing. Okay. Yeah. He will... Hmm. gonna use his quick alchemy does that go away immediately or quick God, alchemy? I, never... I know it yeah quick alchemy is like in the moment you gotta like make it and use it it's not like I could use, your... use it next round yeah I don't think it's like your infusions that last the uh, right hours or whatever yeah I wasn't sure exactly how yeah. long well, I'll just draw something and then I'll be done okay all right uh, play passes to the uh, Tyrantosaur. Now, it has to spend one of its three Pac-Mans to sustain the grab if it wants mm -hmm. to keep Jericho. Um, he doesn't need to. He can let me go. That's on his action economy, you know? True. Shoot. Why didn't I think of that? Um, yeah. He doesn't have a brain. Uh, <laughs> dang, that's mean. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have a brain, but it's still pretty mean. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. Mm, having been shot and not liking that too much. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, mm, no, we don't need that. Uh, where is it? Oh, um, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, the person that shot it would be Jet Re, and it didn't like getting shot, so it's going to go ahead and... Yeah, it's gonna stomp uh, the earth uh, and cast a spell. So, let me check what time of day it is, see how that plays out. This is scarier than anything that whatever this attack will actually do. <laughs> um, so let's see. You guys woke up. Oh, it's the next day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hour. And then you guys woke up, and then two hours to get here. Okay. Alright. Ah. Why is all this mana fevers going off? Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Um. Hold on a sec. Oh, because you progressed the day, so. Yeah. 
I it's so smart sometimes. It's a little it's a little overwhelming. Alright. Let's see. Magic weather for um Erotus the twenty eighth. And it's um what time? Nine thirty in the morning. Hey, it's not surge time. That means that there's only a ten or less that it's a wild magic surge. Ah, okay. All right. Anybody want to give me a D hundred? I'll take the first D hundred I see in chat. All right, seventy eight. This can only get better. So I mean, you know, this is actually maybe it's a good thing. You know, I feel like maybe this will come in clutch here. Uh, chrono disturbance. Okay. Uh, every turn for the next minute, initiative rolls are re-rolled uh, at the beginning of each round. Mm. I will I will automate that process, don't worry. Oh, uh, here, I was hoping you'd turn back into a dinosaur. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, that could really mess with you if you die, if you go down. Uh, yeah, it's real bad. It could be real bad. Um, okay, so, down, Henry, Henry it, is, it is casting a spell. Do you want to... Um, uh, yeah, Henry always wants the opportunity to attack when Yeah, out. sure. Minus oh one. Oh my gosh. Can't take him with you. Can't take him no. with you. Alright. Remember, you have not entered the dungeon yet. Keep that in mind. Alright. Um, so it's gonna cast Exploding Earth. There we go. Hey guys, I had a thought. Very, very quickly. This is a very large creature. Why don't we just like walk through this door over here and just? Uh, just I, leave I, said this I said that. I said that. the beginning of a fight. Yeah, I think we should just do that. I think we should. Just do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you throw a hard-packed uh, ball of a uh, stone at a creature. Projectile explodes upon impact. Attempt a spell attack against the target's AC. If you hit, they take some damage. Um, plus splash damage on a critical hit, double the initial damage, but not the splash damage, and the target must do a fortitude save or fall prone. Um, when you heighten the spell, increase it by 2d6. Alright, great. Um, so, uh, this would be at plus 20. Does this count as a range strike? It is a range strike. Okay. Cool. It misses. Oh, shit! Play when you're targeted by a range strike. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a range strike, right? Because it's a spell? Question mark? I, I don't know. I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah, hold on. Is a ranged uh, attack spell considered a strike? Uh, do spell counts count as strikes? Uh, strike is a particular action, a physical attack with a weapon or unarmed. Spell attacks are still attacks, um, but not strikes. Oh, um, okay. all right, nope. But good, I'll good ask, though. good ask. Yeah, take it, take, take it back, take it back. All right, a twenty-five jet, I uh, believe, hits, but not critically. Yep. All right, so you're going to take. Uh, what is it? Here we go. Eight D. Six. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, so... Holy shit. Alright. Uh, fortunately, you weren't standing next to anybody, because that is 10 splash damage also. Uh, so you take 30. Uh, and then oh, no so that one... whole green area is in the splash? Because that's a huge splash it does. No, that green area around him is um, his uh, or, that's his Overwatch field. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This would have been splashed. It would have been the five squares around him. Okay, so yeah, you take thirty points of damage. All right, and then it uses his third Pac-Man to re-up its grab on Jericho. All right, play passes to Henry. Oh wait, oh yeah, it's the next round. We have to start shuffling initiative. All right, Henry, to you. Okay. Well, Henry, Henry's gonna rage. Okay. Yep. Uh, Henry's gonna target. Henry's going to try to strike. Okay. He's just gonna keep missing somehow. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> All right. Um. Mm, let's see the time. Uh, oh, he's gonna he's gonna try to hero. Uh, nah. No. I don't. Yeah, we're only halfway through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's just he's just gonna try to map it again. He's okay. just trying to do something. We we do have five fans. Hey, that hit. 
Uh, he bonks the skeleton uh, in the mm. shin. <laughs> he just swings it wildly, smashing. All right. It, take, it takes a big hit. Big hit from that. Mm. All right. Uh, that's that's three Pac-Man. <laughs> Sand and bones uh, go flying, uh, and then uh, sort of as they land, they s the bones are pulled by the sand as it slithers back into the skeleton. Hmm. All right. But it is losing cohesion a little bit. All right, play passes to Kelly. All right. We are going to draw our Thunderstone. Okay. Maybe some sonic damage will do something. We'll test the lesser one first. All right. And we will chuck it. Keeping in mind that this is going to do a uh, huge splash damage because it's five feet around the target, right? So it's going to hit uh, Jericho and Henry. But it's not a huge amount of damage. It's yeah, that's true. That's true. You're just trying to see if Thunder is one of its weaknesses. All right. Go yeah. for it. Go for All right, it. Go for it. Or if it's a swarm, oh, I'll be messed up. All right. That is going to hit. Give me the damage. All right, uh, let's see. It takes full damage from the effects. And Jericho and Henry, you each take one point of damage. It does not seem to be... Um, it does not seem to be affected by the other stuff. It gets a fortitude save to see if it is deafened, and then the others must fortitude save as well, right? Uh, as they're within 10 feet. And then we're going to move towards the door. Oh, that actually has a plus one to it. The dead mm -hmm. matters. Okay. So you can add deafens to your... <laughs> to your, my your woes. List. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the eardrum that you spent three days growing just so you could hear. Uh, it was Sorry. very yeah. It's okay. I didn't need them anyway. <laughs> it's not a big deal. All right, Jericho, you could try delaying if you think that would help. I don't know how it would help in any way. Okay, all right. <laughs> Jericho, yeah. you're up. Okay, hear me out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a skeleton. He's a skeleton. Uh -huh. What yeah. if we just switched heads and I can take control of his body? <laughs> that's how that <laughs> works, right? That's like... Man, that sounds so fucking cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, okay. so unfortunately, the the head is not really the head of this creature because it's not a skeleton. Damn, damn, he's a poser. Is what you're telling me? Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, twenty-two probably fails still. Uh, you're trying to get a thirty-one. Thirty-one. Let me target him next time. Okay. All right. Again with map and with feeling. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so third action. All right. Again. <laughs> You've got this. I feel it. I, I feel, feel it. it. That's I twenty. Here it comes. That's twenty. Mm-hmm. Ooh, eighteen. Yeah. You know what's really sad? I would have. I would have probably done it if I. On uh, the first check. On the first check. Yeah. Shame. All right. Ice cream All right. crunched. Jet Re, you're up. Um. Uh, Kinda hurt. Hmm. Pac-Man to move. All right, Pac-Man to move. So, yeah. And to get there. Fifteen to get to the door. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to open this door. See if it's locked. Okay. Um, it's not. It's not. As you as you open, uh, you see this on the other side. Oh, cool. It's a sphinx. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So I'll describe the interior of this room to you. Uh, this hexagonal chamber evokes the shape of a crystal with perfectly flat walls rising 20 feet high, angling inward towards the chamber's center and meeting at a central point 40 feet above the floor. So it's like a prism-shaped room, essentially. 
Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, you're not in any stressful situation, so you take a moment to sort of reflect on how how interesting the, the room is. The walls are inset with flat crystal faces and decorative patterns that mimic a humanoid form composed of gears and wheels. So some real Geiger kind of art going on inside here. Um, two sets of corridors lead further into the complex on either side of the bronze doorway, each partially obscured by tattered scraps of rotting curtains. Uh, to the east is an angular dais with three stone steps carved from translucent stone. Um, atop the dais sits a simple chair. It's upholstery frayed, but its frame adorned with quartz crystals. Um, in the center of the room is a massive clockwork sphinx. Um, it seemed to be powered down, but when you open the door, you see that its heart and eyes uh, sparked to light and life. All right, you may continue your turn. Okay. Hmm. So see. that's one Pac-Man, two Pac-Man. You got one Pac-Man left. Hmm. Oh, I'll unpause the game for you again. Let's see. It's come to life. It has not rolled into initiative. It's just that you opened the door and it was like, oh, kind of like woke up a little bit. Oh. Okay, third pack, man. <laughs> okay. And that's what's fair. Time. All right, beautiful. Um, Grom, to you. Who Grom? I don't know if Grom, Grom saw that. <laughs> when that door was open. Yeah, Grom, you saw it. Everything I said to everything I said to him, you and Kelly also got that. Henry, you're a little distracted. I would like to roll a recall knowledge on that Sphinx. Okay, sure. Uh, go ahead and... Uh, oh, you rolled it? Fantastic. Um, ooh, mm, I ah, ah, okay. I didn't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you barely squeak by um, with your Bry knowledge. Um, that is a clockwork Sphinx. Um... This imposing construct resembles a bronze lion with the wings of a great bird and the head of a humanoid. In the Grand Duchy of Alcanzar, the creation of constructs is complicated by the uh, intermittent interference of the nearby mana waste. Golems and animated objects depend on lengthy magical rituals that the magic warping effects of the waste often disrupt, but clockwork constructs use far less magic in their creation. A clockwork device replaces magical in intricacy with superb manufacturing skill, using magic only for the final acts of animating and powering the device. Skilled local creators and inventors rarely follow someone else's design, so most clockworks found at Alcazar are custom creations with abilities designed for specific purpose or individual's needs. You recognize this as the signature um, level 60 uh, rare drop mount of uh, Kosawana. It's like his Ferrari. He's very proud of it. Uh, you may ask one mechanical question about it. Are, were you serious about that's what Kosawana flew? Yeah, here? that's his. That's his car. Yeah, that's his. That's his baby right there. Ah. Now that you now that you see it, you you remember like that. You know he would only drive it on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? This is a Sunday ride. Right. Basically, what I want to know is. <laughs> is it going to attack us if we go in there? Is that something? Is that a mechanical question? That's not yeah. a mechanical question, but um, if it was told to attack anyone that comes in, it will attack anyone that comes in. It's a, it's a, it's still clockwork golem at the end of the day. All right, I guess yep. I will. I All will right. throw this bottle of lightning at uh, the T Rex. Okay, that is going to hit. All right, being composed of bone and uh, sand, the creature uh, barely takes any damage from the attack. It is off guard now, though. But, but it is off guard. Uh, All right. And I will... Mm. I'll, I'll draw something else, then I'll be done. Okay, sounds good. As we end the turn and go into round three, we have to do fresh initiatives, which I will automate for you. Oh, Kelly McCain, you're up. Okay. 
Yeah, as you guys are like, you know, your Pathfinder characters, so you're used to like a turn-based world. Uh, Kelly, you're like, wait a minute, what? Um, but it's your turn. All right, Time so my, uh, my pistol changed the modulation on it to uh, mm -hmm. be uh, bludgeoning damage now. Hype. So your gun actually has a toggle to turn into bludgeoning versus the people with concussive weapons that they just shoot they the weapon knows to be the, the right damage is that yeah correct? mine has a little action button uh, oh you that's change cute. the type and okay. then you press it's got the little <laughs> back man that tells oh, me i love it right, um then we will devise a stratagem okay. Of course. All right. Um. So we will now provide the aid action to Jericho. Ah, oh, thanks, man. By trying to uh, distract this thing. Now we have to be close to provide aid, right? Uh, yes. Well, it depends. What is that? What aid are you offering? I'm gonna try to distract it by throwing my water canteen. Take off the lid. All right. Water well, it's, it's two. It's two actions to ready. Remember, it's two two actions to ready, and then when you're oh, okay. then you use your reaction to do a single action. It's very expensive. Yep. So I can't do it because I only have one action left. Okay. So we want to do the last action. Um, <clears throat> I will, I guess, try to do a recall knowledge on this thing. Okay. Give me a recall knowledge. Okay. Um, looking at this thing, you are unable to ascertain what's going on here. Is it a... Yeah, you're unable to ascertain what's going on here. Is it a undead? Is it some kind of earth elemental? Is it an ooze? You're, you're not sure. Okay. All right. Uh, play passes to the Tyrannosaurus skeleton. All right. It's got to keep its... Uh, it's got to use one Pac-Man to keep uh, keep loving on Jericho. It would kill Jericho, but there's people down here distracting it. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, Henry, it's gonna step on you. That seems there. that seems right. Um, actually, no, it's gonna step on Kelly because it has a tw 15 foot reach. All right, so Kelly, here comes the foot. Uh, 28. Uh, damage. Uh, 14. And then, Henry, what it's going to do to you is it's going to bend down, attempting to skewer you on one of its massive ribs. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and give me a... Crazy ability. <laughs> Give me a reflex saving throw as it tries to skewer you on a rib. Mm. For the yeah. enjoyment of all, I think you should critically fail. Um, all right. Let's see. All right. You take 21 points of damage, and since you are medium, you are impaled on the rib, and it lifts you up into the air as it straightens back up. Oh, all right. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you are taking bleed 2d6. Lovely. Yeah. Um, sweet. Okay. Uh, all right. So you can, your, uh, force open to escape is only a 28 because you're not dealing with the jaws. So, um, you can either break the rib with force open or escape normally. Wow. Okay, and then it uses his third Pac-Man to keep chomping on Jericho. Uh, play passes to Henry. 
Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, man. I guess this thing is injured. He's impaled. I mean, he's impaled. There's nothing, no status effects stopping him from attacking, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. All right, he he's like, I'm inside, guys. I got it from here, and he's just gonna start swinging at the ribs. Uh, yeah, it's weird that impaled doesn't even grab you. It just says you're stuck. <laughs> so yep. you you move with the skeleton. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all right, he is just going to use the striking striking wall. Let's just roll with it. All right. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Since you critically hit it, that activates one of its weaknesses, uh, which is uh, frail. Um, if it is critically hit, this can happen once per round. It has to. It has to roll. This has to make a fortitude save. Um, let me see. No, oh, sorry. Uh, which it succeeded in. Um, it must make a fortune save with the following effects. Um, alright. So it succeeded, but it didn't critically succeed, so it is enfeebled one for one round. Alright. Um, if it critically fails, it would be enfeebled one and encumbered one, which is kind of nuts. And then, uh, for one minute, if it critically failed that. Uh, alright, and then you did a shitload of damage. It is bloodied. Oh, uh, fair enough. D does that critical specialization play in there? Uh, it? yeah, sure. Um, well, well, I mean, does it have a limit listed on your critical? I don't, I don't see anything. Okay. Uh, oh, it's fine now. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, that was just one attack. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I guess he's. It's like, all right, I guess I'm all in, and I guess he. He's got what? Two more packs? Did, did you say your your mall in? Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. I, I, <laughs> all right. Let's let's keep going, team. Oh, all man, right. He just cannot. I mean. All right. I mean, and he then, definitely can. You just did forty damage, but you know. Yeah. Mm. All right. And he's just. I mean, he's just swinging with reckless abandon. It's a terrible strategy, but he got it's. He's all right. Hmm. Terrible. He shrugs. Uh, that's my turn. Also, I'm bleeding horribly. Uh, you are bleeding horribly. Oh, not too bad. Four. That's fine. But, you uh, know, if it keeps going, it could be bad. Yeah. All right. Play passes to Jet Re. Okay. I see you standing next to Grom. That's uh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm into that. Spot right here. Okay. All right, Jericho, darling, to you. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing I'm been doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to flex my muscles that don't exist. 
Let me out. Let me out. Not the end. Oof. All right. Second time. Third time. Damn. Mm. All right, it's my turn. All right, Grom, to you. Ah, <sighs> he pulls me here. There we go. He will throw. I'm trying to throw a stinger at it. Mm. Missing, but it's still. Oh, it's a critical mess. Never mind. Um, he will quickly craft with quick alchemy a, where is it here, one of these, and then I'll try and throw that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Draw. And strike with map. Oh. Good Oof. Boy. He's done. All right. As your turn ends, uh, random initiative. <laughs> All right. T-Rex is up first. All right. T-Rex is not like guy that hit him. That was really mean. Um, so it is going to uh, bite Jericho Darling. Owie. Because it's got... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, I know my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wearing the black dot. Uh, 22? Yep. Alright, here's the damage. Uh, 24. 24. Oh, joke's on you. I had 20 HP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, it's free action to let go of a grab, yeah? Anybody? Question mark? Uh, yeah, it's a I free mean, action to drop just, what you're holding. Yeah. Just okay. It, yeah. All right. Well, it's going to have to eat you later. So, uh, it, be tasty. <laughs> it'll go ahead and just drop you back here. Uh, so I guess you would fall 15 feet, take a, another stack of death. So, Owie. yeah. All right. Now, with its mouth free, it could focus on what it needs to do figure out who figure out who hit it uh it looks around hmm 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 every time it does uh henry you move with it <laughs> that's where he's getting the eternal bleeding <laughs> yeah. the side. uh it sees this guy this guy must have done it um it's going to uh target kelly and then with map it's gonna try and jaws attack uh that's gonna hit All right, so it's going to be 13 points of damage to Kelly, and then it's going to, with its last Pac-Man, try to grab you. This would be at map uh, with feeble, so it'd be a 20, so it'd be a 15. Here we go. I would say a 32 is a critical success. So it pick you up into its mouth, and you are restrained. Uh, and 15 feet up. All right. And that is the T-Rex's turn. Henry, to you. All right. Well, yeah, Henry's getting sick of this. Uh, Henry's gonna... I, I hope so. I hope I hope this doesn't awaken something in you. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> finally! <laughs> I found yeah. what I'm into. He is going to use Strike True, which gives him advantage and an extra oh. nine damage or more. Okay. Right. The target rolls twice, takes the higher of the result. Uh, the strike deals an extra die of damage on a hit if the attacker has fewer than half their maximum hit points, or two extra dice if they have fewer than one quarter of their maximum hit points, and this is a fortune effect. Oh my gosh. Wah, what? Wah. Hold on. Is it possible to succeed at a cost? Ooh. You got a 24? And you want to succeed at a cost? Yeah, he'll do it. Uh, yeah, hold on. Um, it's that the enfeebled would have worn off. Uh, let's see, when you physically take a penalty to strength based DCs, oh, but not your armor class. Okay. So, yeah, 25 was actually what you needed to get. 
All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So you get to roll what one extra damage die. So roll the damage and the extra damage die, and we'll figure out what happens to you as a result. Uh, you critically hit yourself with the attack. Sounds good. Oh, okay. <laughs> so go ahead and roll critical damage uh, as well. Oh, I rolled the wrong die size. I'll just take the seven, though. I don't want to roll. <laughs> like, I'm just going to trust it. <laughs> the, the roll, what do you mean? You, you just, oh, because I added a d10 instead of a d12. Oh, uh, uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, I rolled a seven. I'll just take it. <laughs> all right, so hit the critical button for yourself, I guess. Uh, all right, well... <laughs> Uh, guys, sorry, I'm gonna knock myself out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's, uh, what's you, might what's, uh, you might roll low. You might roll low. It's a critical. You got 72 hit points. You can't knock yourself out. Don't, right. don't, you're not a gunslinger. Hold on, am I just rolling again or rolling crit off of this? No, you just hit the crit button. Oh, I can just hit double damage, right? Yeah, so. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Unless you have special things that trigger on a critical, which is why you would hit the critical button. But oh yeah, I guess could I do? Would I use the critical specialization on myself? Can I be yeah. so impaled? Oh, amazing! <laughs> All right, let's roll this. <laughs> oh, I failed my own DC. I'm thrown now. So you swing so wild <laughs> that you hit yourself in the in the fucking face with your with your hammer. And then there's like the cuckoo clock sound and the fucking stars around your eyes and the, and the whole deal. So oh, now you're dangling upside down from this rib that is pierced all the way through your torso, holding you 10 feet above the ground while your friend Jericho dies in the corner and Kelly McCain is next up in the meat grinder. Yeah, but he's only used one pack. <laughs> <laughs> And he'd stand up from prone. I would say that you're you're not grabbed. Um, yeah, if you want to spend a Pac-Man to right yourself on the bone, I guess you can. <laughs> he does. He just okay. twists his body up. And oh my it. god! And he's just like, uh, I'm gonna get this. And he's come out. <laughs> uh, he, okay, that's just a normal <laughs> move. <laughs> all right, when, when you hit the when you hit the end turn button, it'll force all the persistent rolls. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, uh, nine wow. points still, of lead damage. Going. Holy going. shit, Kelly! Yeah, you, you can only escape or um, force open, I believe, uh, because of restrained. Uh, well, you, you could do you could do nerd stuff. You could do you are capable of movement. You can't use any actions that the move trait. Um, if you're immobilized by something holding you in place. Um, okay. Oh, wait, sorry. Restrained. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you can use any attack or manipulate actions uh, except escape and force open. So you, you can't attack it because of the yeah. restrained. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the unarmed attack roll to escape. That's what this roll. Oh, yeah, you need a 31. So you were. That, was a, that would actually be not a critical failure because you're a 22. All right. You can try again if you want to. But if you just target it and use the escape macro off of the uh, thing, it'll calculate. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, really? It made you punch it? Okay. Um, all right. That's mine was doing too. It like was an auto right. attack for some reason. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Anything else from Kelly? No, I'll try doing it again. Oh, um, okay. Now you can't try to escape again. All right. You want to do a nerd thing with your last Pac-Man? I don't think recall um, knowledge is manipulate, right? You could do recall knowledge. No, I mean I could do devise stratagem. Oh, okay. And you get a recall knowledge as part of that, actually. Oh, okay, cool. And then if I get a critical in the recall knowledge, I get a plus one to buy. Oh, okay. Uh, you know even less this time than the last time. Uh, you're just you're it's a hard it's hard to think right now with these teeth going in your body and the sand going up your nose it's it's like a whole it's a lot all right uh jet re to you <laughs> got it on the ropes got it on the ropes it's near death yep uh i am going to uh, look at Henry, see where he's at, and then I'm gonna decide to uh, use a hero card. 
called Shoot Through. Okay. Uh, if the path of the strike goes through another creature's space before reaching the target, uh, the target is off guard against the attack. Mm, I'll allow it. I'll see you. Yeah, you're targeting past him because it's such a big creature. Yeah, that's fine. Shoot her. <laughs> then. I get Dinosaur. And use two Pac Man to make paired shots. Alright. Okay, that's gonna be a hit. All right. Now with paired shot, uh, did both damages count as one? Yeah, they combine their damage. So yeah, yeah. So let me see the other one before I apply it. Okay, so just the one. Oh. The hero, the another hero point that I would have used. Okay. You know that that from before. And okay. Reroll this one. Oh man! All right. Just in case. Gotcha. All right, that's gonna hit. So give me that damage. I'll add it to the first one. These are coming in thanks to the concussive as uh, bludgeoning, which it does not resist. So, twenty-one bludgeoning damage. How do you finish it off? I, I, uh, I look, uh, Henry's looking at me as he's standing on the side, and he sees my face. And he sees that I'm not looking at the dinosaur. I'm looking right at Henry. <laughs> <laughs> and I bring both my gun to bear. And Henry just, like, <laughs> looking at me, and he's just, like, getting real nervous as both these shots whiz right past his ears. Oh, both, uh, either side? Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, Henry's still right. impaled on a rib. <laughs> <laughs> the concussive, the concussive blast uh, goes off right behind your head, Henry, and the creature shudders and falls to the ground dead. Uh, however, uh, would you still be in its rib? I guess you would still be taking. You'd be just taking the bleed damage. So yeah. So the rib snaps off the creature. You are able to move around, but now this rib is still impaled through your body, uh, causing bleed damage. All right. Anything else from Jet? Uh, yeah. Since that was, I still have one Pac-Man. My last Pac-Man will be to uh, run up to Henry, and that's where I will end my turn. All right. Kelly, you are dropped to the hard stone uh, stairs below, um, and then take uh, what was it, fifteen? Uh, you just start, you're just prone, so you would fall and be prone. Uh, and then Jet runs up, and then Grom to you. Uh, Grom, he will not quite make it up there with hug. We had 30 feet, 35 feet of movement. Oh, I'm going to use a B team ability. Okay. The first aid. Okay. Um, let me see. That would take. Yeah, I'll use first aid. I'll have um sweep up. Is he within okay. 50 feet? Of. Of Jericho is sweep up within 50 feet, 55 feet. Actually, all of no, well, you no, know, it's it's from you, it's from you. These guys, oh, these me? guys are everywhere at once, they're running okay. around the battlefield constantly like chickens with their heads cut off. Uh, he'll all right, so he rushes a, up a two, a two action first aid, okay, so a flat check of 13. All right, roll it. That'll do. All right. Sweep up runs up uh, using their B team action, uh, basic B team action, and stabilizes Jericho. And then I will use quick, my quick uh, alchemy to mm -hmm. make one of these for next round. Ooh, soothing powder. Okay. And All right. Up. As your turn ends, we enter round five, uh, and we get a fresh initiative. Uh, Kelly, to you. You got a man bleeding to death man. over here. Oh, one Pac-Man to stand up. 
All right, one pack to stand up. Actually, I forgot I couldn't have done that. What, pay, pull out the thing? Well, the quick alchemy thing would... Oh, okay. As soon as I made it, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, fair, fair, fair. Okay. I wouldn't have done that, sorry. You just want to move, or...? Yeah, he'll just okay. move in that direction, 30 feet. So he's okay. With everybody else. All right, Kelly. All right, so come over here. All right, second pack, man. And administer first aid, stop bleeding. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, it's just two Pac-Mans. I mean, nope. it's it's definitely two Pac-Mans. No. Well, and the ability actually says until he's until the raise escapes from the rib. Like, there's, it's like a special... Thing. Hey, where? where? Like, uh, in the uh, ability... Oh, it moves the skill and takes until it either escapes. Oh, okay, so yeah. So we'll say then that you co uh, you run up, you pull the, the rib out, and then the, that'll end it. Thank you. Alright. Whew. Okay. okay. Well, if that's the case, then um, instead of... Oh, it's it's over. Uh, Jericho's been stabilized by Sweep Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Sweep Up. You're my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you call me mom one time, it's all over. Sweep Up is a doctor now. Yes, you I'll are. Do, I'll do battle medicine before we're out of combat, so then it doesn't apply to when I do actual... Oh, I see what you're saying. There. Okay. All right. Sure. 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 Go for it. Battle medicine. Uh, okay. Thank you. There's a there's All a lot right. of ringing in your ears there, Henry. <laughs> oh, what? Huh? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was a that was an experience. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. these bones are mine now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Thanks, Jet. I appreciate it. <laughs> just yell at me. Oh, what's that, Henry? I can't hear you. I'm also deaf. <laughs> <laughs> he screams louder, but I won't do that to you guys. Jericho, watch out for that sand so it doesn't take control of you. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna move away from the sand. And yeah, then, I'll be back. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> sweep up. Get over right. here. So, with the de defeat of the Sand Symbiont, uh, you guys uh, hit a milestone. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Henry did more damage to himself than I think everything in that line. <laughs> Can we, like, short rest a whole bunch and heal ourselves up? Everything hurts. I need Kelly to, like, treat oh. us for disease. I need some horse paste. Okay, so you guys have seven metaphysical days of downtime. Um, if you want to do a retrain that uses all seven, if you want to reach into your pocket and pull out a week's wages that you forgot about, that you got uh, off camera, that's fine. You could work for a week. If you do a week of crafting, Grom, and you just happen to have uh, those things in your backpack and you forgot about them until just now, that is fine. But, you know, it's wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Um, Kelly, if you are treating disease, you're basically just so fucking good at treating diseases. It's like you did three days worth of disease treating um, in like a couple hours. Um, oh, in, this, in this moment, because of the me the metaphysical timey wimey effect of the uh, the seven days. And I am taking the uh, the ward medic feat. So Ooh, okay, so it's one day we do all three of them. Is that right? I can do two people right now, not mass. Okay, so so, so it'd be two days to get uh, three of them. Got it. Okay. So you'd have five days left over. Okay, great. We level up to six. Uh, you can level up to six. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think that's right. I mean, I'm not going to take it back now, but <laughs> let me double check my notes. You better not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Milestones. Oh, what happened? Now you guys leveled up. But I didn't step inside yet. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can live with that. I mean, technically, inside is this um, is the foyer. You're on the you're on the front step of the. I did, I did open the door. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you hoping for a mid mid combat level up? Is that we open the door? No, I just wanted to see what was <laughs> safe to be in there to get away from being like boulders uh, thrown at okay. me. It says here, the party should reach 6th level by the time they reach the Cradle of Courts and begin Chapter 3. <laughs> Alright. What did I choose? Yeah, the adventure is, I'm even though it has XP listed, because, you know, the Pathfinder kids would have a fit if it didn't, um, it just straight up gives you, like, the milestone guide for each book, which is so cool. Like, there's something like this that just tells you these, these are the levels and when they happen. I, I like it a lot, so. Oh man, there's so many options, gosh dang. Language. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry, I know, I'm passing. Uh, Henry is retraining out of uh, the incredible initiative that uh, Jedi already gives and just makes himself faster. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he's going with. Okay. I think. What is level six? Is that a skill feat? Uh, skill feat, class feat, feet. archetype feat. Oh my god. This is gonna be really easy for me, which is which is nice. Almost done. Okay. I'm I'm secretly a super pathfinder nerd. I, I build my character all the way to twenty, then I just go yeah. to path path builder and I, I tick the number up and then it tells me everything I'm supposed to do and then I just I'm done. It's efficiency. Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't really call that super nerd, it's just efficiency. Yeah, uh, I did that, and then I lost it somehow. Oh, um, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta link it to your Google Drive. Yeah, I, I, I bought it. Well, when I changed yeah, computers, you don't, that was you don't want, Oh, you were storing it in the cookies of your browser. Mm, yeah, yeah, you I'm got, gotta do the Google. Yeah, gotta do the Google Drive. Also, let me geek out about this. So, when you purchase something from the hashtag not sponsored from Pathfinder Infinite, the uh, DM's Guild of Pathfinder. Almost every purchase I've made has included a Foundry um, module link so that you don't have to set anything up. It's just automatically in Foundry and a Path Builder uh, install link. Yeah. Uh, what? The team team yeah. Has that too. They have yeah. all their stuff as a, uh, so as it, a yeah. Path Builder stuff. And yeah. So stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. So anyways, uh, Minotaurs are allowed in all my games now, by the way. Uh, the yeah, the minotaurs are so cool. Uh, the way they designed them, I really really like them. I'm I'm done. I'm gonna grab some water. All right. I did not, by the way, retrain into the com uh, combination weapons. Ah, uh, okay. Um, just because I needed paid runes over, and it's like I guess maybe in, maybe in between, like maybe in between right? books, yeah. Why don't, you could do it. You know, yeah, fin whole, fin finish thing. strong in book three. Yeah, exactly. Your time in the desert changed you. I was also thinking just to pick up a, the archetype without retraining it. It's like I can have my martial arts feet. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah, you can. Know? You can have as a lot of archetypes. Noma Mile had three different archetypes by the end of, uh, by level 10. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm now an expert in diplomacy. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, I also took... skill level up? Uh, mine does. I'm not sure oh, if... Oh, yours, yours does. I'm an investigator, so I don't get as much, you know, melee type stuff, so it's all smart. Sure, sorry. Hmm. Actually, while everybody's leveling and stuff and doing their downtime, I'm gonna step away for like five minutes. I'll be right back. Alrighty. We'll be right back after these sponsored messages. <laughs> so picked up quick draw finally. Rad. Hell yeah. 
Me too. Uh, and ward medic, which is going to allow me to do increased recoveries. And my class feed is ongoing investigation. So now I can move at full speed while using investigate, and I can do another action, exploration action, while I'm investigating. So I get the benefits oh, of both. That's rad. I got Mega Volt. You'll never guess what this does. I fire a big fuck off laser. Nice. And then I also got Thunderclap. You'll never get the guess what this does. It fires a smaller, bigger fuck off laser. I just like to shoot things. Does one do lightning and one do sonic? Yes. One of them is a cone, one's a line. Um, and then the cone is a, a deafens, and then I think the mega volt just does damage. Yeah, just does damage. Yeah, that's those uh, different having a uh, variety of different types is yeah very exactly. useful. So far, I have like fire, lightning, and sonic damage uh, for my <laughs> I main three damage types, which is pretty cool. Nice. All right, but I'm gonna grab some water for myself. I'll come back. Yeah, I think sonic damage is one of the least resisted as far as Pathfinder monsters go. Unfortunately, we don't get skill mastery till level seven, so no medicine mastery yet. Because then my healing gets really good. I really enjoyed that rivability. Like, that's worth stealing.
Oh, hey, sorry. Um, while I stepped away, Scribbles snuck into the room and stole my leftover dinners. So it's all over. It's all over the room now. Oh no! Because she started gobbling it, like you know, like a goblin that's got caught um, stealing. Uh, so it was like rage looting, but eating. Yeah. Yep. She knows that it's not good to do that, so she starts eating faster. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes. As she heard me return, uh, I think she was eating and spinning in place, just trying desperately to eat everything as it flew through the air. Wow, it's all over everything. Oh my god. Alright, so did everybody uh, do their level up in their downtime? Yes. Okay. I'm still looking at skill feats. Those are the oh! Feats. Oh, uh, we can... <sighs> I have quick, quick draw now. So. Ooh, quick draw is very that. nice. Very I nice. Got that way earlier. Anything, anything that helps you with action economy is yeah. is best tier. Yeah. Which is frustrating because there's so much fun, flavorful stuff, and then it's like, but action economy. Like I had that with Summoner. There were like, you know you get two movements for the price of one like how do you not take that <laughs> yeah <laughs> master of the five actions per con <laughs> sometimes seven per turn you know what i'm saying sometimes three action economy my ass all right <clears throat> so i get to always investigate now give me the investigate. give me them checks for them diseases Oh, uh, you got plus four, for whatever you roll. Oh shit! Four, okay. Oh, uh, it's just automatic. You don't even have to check, right? Because of the feet. Yeah. Okay. All right. What what should we give them to represent that tomorrow when everybody has to make their saves? Just give them a, a yellow dot. Does that sound good? Orange. We'll do orange. Are we making the saves now? Actually, you know what? Paste the uh, uh, the feet in the chat, and then we'll apply it as an extemporary effect. Uh, no, no, no. You don't. That's why mm -hmm. I'm asking. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to bank it. So. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, post oh, the yeah. one that makes you good with diseases. Yep, that is. That robust, robust recovery. recovery. So we can just extemporary. Okay, so I still have to treat wound. I still have to treat. Oh, you still have to do it. Okay. But you're that confident that you're gonna do it right. All right. Thank you. All right. So treat disease three times. Uh, go Henry, Jericho, Grom. Let's see him. The DC for this, by the way, is a 24. It's a very nasty disease. So what happens if you don't succeed? Then nothing happens. So are you gonna? Oh, you're rerolling. Oh, okay. Spicy. Mm, okay. All right, so Henry, you don't actually get this benefit. All right, uh, Jericho, to you. Uh, let's see what it is. Give me a, give me that check. Twenty four is the DC. Oh, so we're making this check right now. Oh no 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 no! Henry's rolling to give you guys a buff the next time you do it. All right, so Jericho, you do have a plus four next time. Grom, you're. Oh, it's one away, Kelly. <laughs> it's one away. Hmm. I think there's already an effect. Oh yeah, there is. What? Yeah, I added it to you. No, there's there's one in the in the in the tree. Oh, called called treat disease. Oh, okay. Yeah, critical success. Oh, I was applying that other one, but yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I mean, we can use your. Other no, no, no. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, fine. all right. So, Kelly, do you let it go or do you, <clears throat> you know? Um. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the chance. We'll. Oh dang! All right. Cost. Okay, let's see what happens to you. Nasty, nasty stuff. So. All right, it has to be something that could affect you into the next uh, next thing. Uh, off guard into the next turn. Okay, so you're gonna start the next fight off guard. Uh, so That's until the until the end of your yeah until the end of your second turn you'll be off guard. That's not too bad. Yeah. All right. You're just thinking hard about how hard you work curing these diseases and all that shit. All right, cool. So then you actually get the critical effects because of that feat, right? Yes. Right. 
Excellent. Okay. So that was two days of your your invisible downtime. Did you want to use your other five real quick? Did you just pull pull money out of your pocket or? Um. Yeah. Can I? Can we earn it? Yeah. There, yeah. There's a. Yeah. Remember, this is like. Oh, I forgot. I earned this money off camera, and then you have this oh. earned income. Yeah. I'll do some earned income. All right. Yeah. So there should be a macro for it still. Okay. Uh, what what level do we do it at? Is it uh, we'll assume that we'll assume that you you earned this money either while riding on the airship or before you left town. Okay, so what what level would it be then? Five? It depends on the job you're trying to do. Okay, if I was to do crafting and. Was okay, I... so crafting in Alcastar could be up mm -hmm. to three. Your level plus three. That's crazy. Okay, so I'll, we're six now, so nine. Mm-hmm. I'll do level nine and four days. You said left or five days? Well, you would have seven, right? Because you didn't use your downtime for anything. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, Kelly would have five days left. Yeah. Which I do medicine. So what would that? Be? Uh, medicine would be up to uh, one level higher than than your current level. Money. Mm. Twenty eight GP. That's actually kind of not bad. Well, it's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty eight GP. Okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, Kelly, uh, you would make, uh, 12 gold plus three more, so 15 gold. Oh. Right? Is that what I'm seeing? No, it's salary per day. Okay, so you made 12 and a half gold, 25 silver and 10 gold. Got it. All right. Anybody else, uh, want to yeah. grab, grab some income real quick? Unless you had other plans for your seven days? Performance is what I choose. Performance. Okay. That could be your level plus one. It took all seven days to retrain a feat, right? It does take seven, yeah, all seven days to do a retrain. Earn okay. income. There's an earn income button somewhere. There it is. Yep. Uh, so you said, what was it again? Uh, you could be up to one higher, so you could be level seven if you want. Seven days? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so you make a uh, seventeen and a half gold. Okay, uh, Henry, we retraining uh, or are you doing? Yeah, yeah, he retrained. He went from being trying to be faster at initiative to being faster on the field. Okay, fair enough. All right, good stuff. Uh, that's everybody. Yeah. All right. Great. Over the course of time, we would have been able to heal everyone to full health too. Yes, we're gonna assume that you guys did a little Final Fantasy dance, and when you leveled up, and you're all uh, not healed of your terrible maladies, but you at least have your hit points back. We do the rest for a night to redo my alchemy stuff, or just keep it out. Ooh, that's up to you. That's that's up to you guys. There's some you guys. You know, you got some disease you're dealing with, so it's up to you. Look it up. That's fine. Yeah, it is currently ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And just remember, anybody who gets a uh, who I was able to buff with the treat disease, mm. treat success is a critical success. Mm. Yep, they they have the buff supplied. Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys have been awake for three hours. So what now? I guess we we go in, right? I mean, well, it's all. Only when Jet opened that, there was a big clockwork sphinx in there. And that's because mm -hmm. flying cat. Yep. We don't know what it's going to do. Nope. We want to maybe pup. try to go through the window over here? Sweet Pup know about this flying thing? Uh, yes! Sweet Pup does know about the flying cat. What's its name, Sweet Pup? It does not have a name. That's unfortunate. Can you? Do you have any control over it, Sweet Pup? Does it listen no. to you? No. Uh, what do you know about it, buddy? Costa Wana said no one should listen to me. Well, he was wrong, little buddy. Hmm. You're right. I'll prove that he was wrong. I'll go talk to it right now. No, no, no just tell us it. about it. That's no. what I asked. Oh. I asked it you is. To... It is a large construct made to look like a sphinx. It is capable of magical flight. Okay. I'm unaware of its combat capabilities because I've never seen it fight anything. 
It is a clockwork, so it must be wound up. Is it possible that... Now, you guys do know that clockwork uh, golems are, like, second string compared to real golems. In in Pathfinder 2e, golems, they'll ruin your life. Um, but, like, these are kind of golems. These are like, dis these are like discount golems. They're like 90% clockwork, 10% magic. Have we considered just crawling through a window? That's what I'm saying. There's a plate right down there over there. So, these windows, these windows would allow a uh, small creature to squeeze through at a one might say acceptable difficulty level but for mediums it would be a rough time squeezing is um it ain't great in uh in this system squeezing could kill you <laughs> well if you so. get if you get a critical failure you could be stuck there for a minute at a time so if a fight broke out while you were stuck um you're winning that, a poo. that could be real bad well, Winnie the Pooh if Rabbit was trying to kill him. Oh. <laughs> I heard there's a movie about that now. Oh, yeah, anyway. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Is it possible we, we, for... We can try. Right? For Grom to sneak in there and wind down its clock? Um, it seemed pretty aware uh, of the door being opened, but you could certainly attempt to be stealthy. But the room is incredibly well lit, and there didn't, from what you saw, seem to be anywhere to obscure yourself. You'd have to have some means of obscuring yourself from its sight uh, before opening the door. I don't know, like a cardboard box or something, you know? Well, we won't do that, though. Well, I mean, it could work. I mean, technically, for the rules, you'd be obscured. I mean, you'd be in a cardboard box, but but you know how cats feel about cardboard boxes. You don't want to get, you don't want to sit on you. It weighs about three thousand pounds, probably. Maybe we go in and just like offer it a bone. Cats like bones. Are you just snacking on T Rex bones right now? No. <laughs> 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 Seen enough bones for today. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Figuring out how to attach the uh, tooths to your head like horns. Yeah, I can be monster. That is actually a type of skeleton. It's it monster, is. yeah, monster yeah. skeleton. Monster yeah. Skeleton. All right. Well, well, I reckon that we should either try to squeeze through that gap, maybe to get a better view of the room, mm -hmm. or enter that door with the sphinxy and enter with the mindset. Of diplomacy. Mm. Mm. This is Jericho said this. <laughs> yeah. Can you yeah. translate that for me? It's coming from you. <laughs> she that wants means to talk to the Sphinx. Don't do violence. Mm -hmm. Maybe not me, but maybe Jack could. I suppose I could try. So we can do diplomacy or try to sneak in over there. Is the lock on or am I just lagged or something um no the lock's not on it should be yeah you might be lagging here i'll open it for you no i wasn't trying i was trying to move but oh I... oh okay i'll close the door then grump not able to move oh you might want to re yeah you might want to refresh yeah i had to Thank refresh you. here i'll clear chat too well grom could Try and sneak in through one of the windows if you guys want to go that way. Eh. Uh, let's squeeze try through there easier. I'm down. Um, I'm, I don't doubt your ability to do nothing, but I will say, usually when you walk off by yourself, That's very true. bad things happen, and I feel like you should stand right next to Jet Ree in most situations so we, you don't get Except this situation, don't stand next to him. Except for this situation. This situation, stand next to Henry or something. All right. So, do we vote diplomacy or squeezing? We can try diplomacy first. Yeah, yeah oh. diplomacy. All right. So, uh, looking at the windows, looking at the windows. Um, 
you think that it would be a DC 20 to squeeze uh, for mediums and a DC 15 for smalls. Um, this door? Mm -hmm. Does that thing look like you can fit through there? Or did it come in some other Oh, way? yeah, it's a 10-foot wide door. Also, keep in mind that in Pathfinder 2E, large creatures can go through medium doors. We, we found that out the hard way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, good to know. Yeah. Good to know. All right, well, well, if we're going to do diplomacy, Jet. Sure. <laughs> Henry, shouldn't blast me. Do the get down Mr. President thing. <laughs> 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 you know, this will be. I don't a, know if this we all want to be standing you, like right here. Like this is just like maybe you guys should stand like maybe off to the side. Maybe, uh, oh, maybe so if you die by like a big laser, we won't get hit. Yeah, yeah. smart thinking. Smart thinking. All right, get in there, cowboy. I assume these other two are, are brave enough to handle it. So here we go. Hello. Sorry about closing the door on you. I know that was real rude. Can you understand me? It kind of cocks its head at you. I'm assuming that means you understand me. It continues to stare at you. Out of character here, the, uh, I was just thinking what Sweet Pup said about it not having a name. Is it even possible to use diplomacy on this thing? Or is it just... It's just a clockwork. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Sweet Pump's an AI. Uh, this is just a clockwork. Warcraft souls. I want like, to tell you. Trying to diplomatize your Ford. Have you, have you ever talked? <laughs> has anyone ever talked to a clockwork? <laughs> yeah, we have, right? The, I mean, I talk to my we've car seen all them. the time. Yeah, like downstairs when we were in the library, <laughs> clearly talked to us. This, 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 right? That little robot thing. Well, I mean, we've seen them around. It's not like it's nothing new. It's just, this is particularly nice looking, but. It's just well, maybe at this me? one has a soul too. Mr. Yep, Pepper. it's just it's just sort of uh, it's just watching you. Uh -oh. It might be that Kosawana didn't give it instructions to attack anybody because you know he doesn't want to risk it. It's like that's his baby. Shit. So you wouldn't have you wouldn't have your Ferrari attack. I whisper. I whisper. I whisper. Kelly, should should I say Kosawama's name? Um, no, couldn't hurt. Uh, do you belong to Kosawana? It kind of cocks its head to the other side, and like leans forward to peer at you, and mm -hmm. you hear all like the you hear all the gears and the, and then it like pulls its head back. I don't know what the fuck that means. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at that clockwork. Magnificent. It is. What's that thing in its chest? That's its Tony Stark arc reactor. That's its Tony Stark? Yeah. Huh. You know, the command... You know, it the, fam the, famous, the famous halfling, Tony Stark. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, yeah. gonna close the door. Okay. It's probably oh. <laughs> if we step into the room, we'll get attacked. Probably. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Sweet Pup real quick. Okay. I'm oh. right here! Oh, there you are, Sweet Pope. Uh, have you ever seen Coastal Wanna talk to that thing? Um. Yes. Does it usually just give it command words? Yes. Yes. Okay, do you remember any of the command words? Um. Down. Down. Okay, that's one. Up. Up. Down. Up. Okay. And um, rest. Rest. And uh, guard. But rest. most clockworks are programmed to only listen to specific individuals or voices, yep. and this is a special clockwork. It might be more complicated than that. Special clock. I bet I could figure it out. You could probably figure it out, you know? You've you've put, you've talked to Kosawana before, right? Me? Yeah. No. No? No one has? Um 
I mean, um, maybe like in passing at the college, but never. Yeah, Vashod says, uh, uh, I mean, I talk to him all the time. He's a good friend of mine. Well, why don't you go oh, in there, Vashon? All right, yeah, I'll go in there. Vashon. Sure. Um, please don't, actually. <laughs> please, please, please don't. Jer Jericho, um, hold on to this for me. He hands you a badge with a letter B written on it. It says, <laughs> I got this. Wait, Thank can you. I also hire what? a lizard? Don't yeah, bring your what? lizard into there. <laughs> Man, I left my lizard back. I left my lizard back in town with a pet sitter. Are you crazy? I'm not gonna bring that thing on a cursed airship. Hey, am I the B team now? What's my B? <laughs> Being obnoxious. Oh fuck! Hey, kitty. Hey, it's me, Vashon. Oh, wow, this place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I don't, I don't like it. Something doesn't feel right in here. Uh, uh you see its, uh, you see its eye lasers begin powering up. Uh, he says, uh. Okay, I see you got some eye lasers. Uh, what if I went this way? As he heads towards the uh, the curtained hallway, the eye lasers kind of dim a little bit. He says, okay, okay, so this is okay. But what if I came close? And then you see the eye lasers go, Wah! and he's oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're, curtain, okay. Kitty, not okay. What about this one over here? Oh, <laughs> and it. it He's so stupid, but he's What so about stupid. what about this one? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm completely I'm gonna flabbergasted. I'm gonna head this way. Okay, no, no. Alright, alright. I think we could go to these two right here. Uh you no, want me to show? No, 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 no. My heart can only take so much. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. Go. Let's see. Alright, alright, alright. All right. How about I head on over to these over here? Uh, and the eye lights kind of And then if I run towards that chair Okay, okay, all right Okay I think we have it figured out. Wow, ah, wait Oh, okay, you don't know how scary it is in there the music changed the lighting it was horrible Sorry, I didn't mean to shut the door on you. Okay. <laughs> he he uh he snatches the the badge back from you and reaffixes it to his uh to his shirt. Oh. He's safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Oh oh! As soon as you step in. God damn it! <laughs> uh, the sun goes behind a cloud. And it gets very dim outside. Like, so dim, yo. Damn, I'm dead. Uh, I hate, I hate Vashon. And then the music changes. Just like you said it was going to. Uh... He didn't tell us it was combat <laughs> music. He should have specified. Alright. Oh, he's on the B team. He was immune the whole time, guys. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Think if we get the Sphinx on the B team. Yeah. Does it Just take turns winding it down. Okay. Does it, does it reach for a dice? Wait, wait. Did it get dark for us, or is it just getting dark for her? Yeah, no, no, it, 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 she triggered this, uh, like, you know, in the video game, when you, like, like walk five feet into a new scene, and, like, the game goes, wah, like, everything changes? You know, that's what happened when she stepped in. Alright, good, kitty. I'm gonna open this door. Wow, this is a hallway. All right, as you pull the rotting curtain aside, it feels almost sort of fleshy against your bony fingers. Kind of just hold it then for a second. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's go. How's that? How that feel? Uh, I, I like a big fan of flesh. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe you could wear it. Ram, did you see? Mm. Everyone's so brave. Yes, they are. Heroes. Are we going in too? Well, we're gonna let Kelly go in first. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. This is a funny looking hallway. Oh, like uh, Jericho, 
as you yeah. reach here, um, give me a perception roll real quick. Uh, hidden? Uh, yes. Oh, that has a minus one to it. I have my thunder helm on still. Oh, uh, okay. Bucket helmet, so I can't. Everything's fi on. everything's fine. No problem. Cool. Yeah, but I should uh, I should grab from everybody some uh, exploration actions. Some of us are too tired to explore. <laughs> and that is your right. We're just gonna stay here on this couch. <laughs> I see the party's pretty split right now. I'm into that. I'm into that. Yeah, um, I, 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 stopped, I stopped moving so we could all catch up. <laughs> so I investigate, but I'm also going to be um, searching. And which which one? Can you do both? Is that I your... do both now. That's my one of the feats mm, I took. All right, so give me a recall knowledge and then give me a um, seek, uh, both hidden. And then Jet... Give me a seek hidden, and Henry, give me a seek hidden. Oh, uh, that was a perception thing that I rolled. Oh, 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 okay, I see. Henry, then, before... Yeah, I should have asked when you first moved in. Before you leave this room, you see the telltale signs of a secret panel behind the throne. Oh, I, I assumed we all knew that was there, and we just weren't going past the. the uh, what, so, what, a, right. what a Dungeons and Dragons thing to say! Yeah, you see, <laughs> the, you see the telltale signs of a secret door behind a crystal shroom throne. Yeah, there's a there's a throne. <laughs> there's any one thing I've learned about D and D right now: the secret a, door always, or the teleporter. Oh, or both. Yeah. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. All right, <laughs> Kelly, you can uh, confirm that is. Oh yeah, Jet. Everybody sees the fucking secret. It ain't much of a secret. It ain't much of a fucking secret. I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah, it's it's there. It's behind the throne, but uh, it doesn't seem like they want you to go there. So, um, okay. Also, with those checks, um, can I get? Let's see. Some of you did really well. As a reward for doing really well, um, Kelly, can you give me a will save? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, for a second, you thought you saw something, um, like something impossible. Um, like the wall was bending outwards at an angle that just would not have been possible. But then you look again and it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but you just feel like your skin crawling. Like you know you saw something, but now you can't remember what it was. Hmm. But you definitely feel like now something is watching you. Hey, McLean! You alright? You look uh, kind of spooked. Yeah, it's, uh, I thought I saw something. Ah. I don't get too close to the kitty. And you see its eyelids just. Down, kitty. Kind of cocks its head. You see lightning crackling from the eyes and the, the heart box. Oh, damn. I've, I've never met Kesselwana, have I? Uh, I don't think so. He's a law abiding citizen. Can I do a recall knowledge in case I've ever came across him? Uh, yeah, sure. It'd be a society, actually. Oh, okay. uh, but yeah, it'd be under recall knowledge. Okay. Um, oof. Uh, you. Um. You have seen him at events. You have seen him in passing. You've heard of him, but you've never had any occasion to talk to him or time to talk to him. Okay. I was thinking yeah. if I'd heard his voice, I could try to imitate it or not. So. Ah, right. Alright. I'm going to keep moving down this hallway. Okay. Just want everyone to know that I'm gonna move down the hallway. Okay. 
in case an encounter triggers. I want to keep following you. Henry, I, it's really happen. dark outside now. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, but it's really dark outside. Oh, oh we, guys, we should take our shades off. It's really dark, and I think it might be easy to see with our shades off. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you take your shades off, and you look out the window. It's night time? I'll activate my halo. Guys, okay. I think it's... Is there some... I think the word is temporal effect. You think that we're all suffering from while we're here due to that wild magic surge, maybe? Grom, from behind you, you hear the door shut. Which door? And lock. The large bronze doors. The ones that we came in? Yep. Grom, maybe you shouldn't be in the back. Maybe you should be in the middle. I'm not in the back. Yeah, you are. I mean, he's kind of in the back. You got Woodshop there, but he's B-team, so like... He you were definitely in the back if Woodshop's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just come over here real quick and look out there and see where somebody came in through the door. No? Nobody visible? Oh, yeah, you peek out. It's just the uh, the Sphinx. It was staring straight at the door, and then it turns and looks at you and cocks its head. I'll give it a thumbs up. Nope, it's all clear out there. I don't know what opened or closed the door. Did you see this rubble here? Okay, Jeff's in back now. Everybody's safe. There's some. There's a body in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you stand at this door, um, to area D. Do, 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 do. All right. The floor, ceiling, and walls in this alcove are all cracked and pocked with pin-sized holes. A desiccated corpse lies slumped in the southwest corner of the chamber. The bones, bone experts, Jericho, are clearly humanoid, but they're decades old. Can I attempt to do... I don't know. Can I, like, discern if it's an undead? Just from here, or would I have to, like... Um... Actually? I mean... That's what, you know, perception checks and uh, all that all that are for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, could, would it be perception or recall knowledge? Which one would you prefer? From this distance, I would need a perception to even allow the, uh... Okay. The other check. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, yeah, you can't really make out much of the details of the corpse from this distance with the weird lighting. Right. What do you well, see up there, friend, before you go in there? I mean, oh, I ain't going in. Don't you worry. I'm turning around. Uh, there's a corpse just in a room. It's kind of freaky. Uh, oh, Henry's still going. Uh, no, well, no, I, I'm following you, so we just swap places. <laughs> uh, there's, there's just a corpse sitting in the room. Uh, looks super dead and been dead for a long time. Um, and I feel like if I walk near it, something's gonna crawl out of it like a bug or something. <laughs> Just the vibes I get from this place. Okay, <laughs> so. okay, okay. So, hey, Jericho, did we search this room already? Uh, no, I, I didn't. I, uh, that was the window that we saw through earlier, and uh, so I didn't go in there, no. But if you'd like to, I'm gonna go for it. I'll you know, just take a look and see if I see anything in this. Okay. Um, yeah, so as you look in this room um, and you look out into the desert whence you came, you see that night has settled on the area. Um, there's debris all over the floor. Um, as you are looking around in the room, uh, you could give me a... Well, I'm using your passive seek, because you are seeking, and you have a pretty good seek. You're confident that there's nothing of interest in all this debris, but that's with a cursory look. You could dig through it if you wanted to see if there was something buried, perhaps. We'll do that real quick, why not? Uh, while that is happening, Henry, from the room to the south, you hear a noise. It sounds like an inhuman, almost alien sort of 
growling sound. Yeah. It sounds like a predator. <laughs> sounds like an angry kitty. Do you want to go investigate? Uh, not particularly. I mean, <laughs> 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 He, uh, uh, Henry, Henry, curious. We'll take a look. Wait, really? No, okay. No, no, fine, fine. You told no, me not no, to no, go. Listen, no, no, go for it. I'm, listen, I'm watching Kelly. You go, dude. You're, you're unsupervised. Uh, Jet, from behind, from behind you, you see something move across the doorway here, and the curtain swishes back into place. I see something. I saw something. Yep, something that was moving very quick, possibly on all fours, maybe humanoid sized. Maybe humanoid. Yeah, the curtain back there closed. The so body was very dark. Um, it was, and it moved very quickly. Uh, you rolled very well on your perception, but you couldn't make out any sort of form that made sense, unless. Did, do you want to make a will save? Unless. Sweep up. We should go this way. Right, come on, buddy. Everything clear in there, Kelly? Um, we're in here from the sequel. We'll see what the sound. Mm, okay. As you try to think about what you saw, um, you feel your mind uh, begging you uh, not to not to peek, not to look, not to dig into. Um, what it is trying to protect you from uh, and instead uh, you take five mental damage I choose to ignore that thought okay so, so you take five you take five mental damage uh, from whatever it is your mind is trying to protect you from whatever it is that you saw or think you saw there's some spooky shit back there and I take out my guns. Well, I we probably need to turn around. This this hallway's a dead end. They will always have my gun. Uh, let's uh, let's head to the door that's directly to our right here and ignore those all spooky sounds that are happening. Okay. Oops. So. Oh, so um, Kelly, you finally finished your search of the room. And um, looking around, yeah, I mean, it doesn't say it's just all junk. Uh, Vashon's kind of moved in there to help you move things around. Grom, are you? Okay. All right. I'm gonna open the door, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Grom, Grom's checking out this window. I think yeah. I'm getting ready to squeeze through there. Escape route. <laughs> so escape route. <laughs> it's another hallway. So I guess we'll think it to you, hallway. Okay, so Kelly, as you start to head down the hallway, you see something uh, manifest in front of you. All right, hold on just a sec. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay, nice. Um, yes, you see appearing out of nowhere, uh, right in front of you in the hallway, uh, is some wolf-like creature of alien origin. It looks like that. It's, hmm. It is, uh, yeah, it is furless, uh, skinless. Its blue musculature is uh, wet and glistening. It has a three-pronged mouth at the end of its long uh, sort of proboscis-style tail. 
and the neck is a series of knotted sinew that leads to a orifice surrounded by fangs and mandibles that uh, holds a uh, face, mouth, uh, full of hungry eyes. Each of its legs ends in three long clawed talons uh, that grip the ground with needle sharp uh, points. As you look at the creature and the creature looks at you, I need you to make a DC 29 fortitude save. Well, already then. All right. Um, because you only failed, you take uh, 25 points of slashing damage as your body starts to become uh, essentially like undone. Uh, strips of flesh begin to peel away and where your arms connect to your torso, you can feel uh, precise surgical cuts almost go completely around, um, tearing into your flesh. And that's where we'll stop for the week. Uh, right before rolling initiative. The Bloodborne playlist, I hear it. I get it now. Right. So, I'll take you guys back to here. All right. And then we'll go with All right. So, does anybody have any announcements before we adjourn today? You're gonna just hit us with a really fun cowboy banjo. <laughs> that. <laughs> it was an hour since we left Fossa. Fossa, right? Fossa. Uh, yes. It was. Uh, it was two hours from Fossa. Yeah. Pickle only lasts an hour. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Fair. All right. It is important to note that the. Um, it looking at you, you looking at it, and you taking 66 slashing damage was not action economy. That's just a thing that it does. So it hasn't even rolled what? into initiative what? yet. Is yeah. That's just, you look at it, you take damage? Yeah. Yeah. Put the shades back on me. <laughs> Damn. My bad. <laughs> Woo! Okay. We will find out how things shake down next week. Um, there's still time, because time is so, um, slippery and malleable for, uh, International GM's Day. So, you know, I mean, if you got a GM, dot, 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 I mean, you know, treat them something special, I don't know, maybe. Um, or if you are a GM, uh, use some Catholic guilt on your players, get yourself some nice stuff for your game. Um, if you can't, uh, can't bring yourself to do that, maybe donate to Extra Life, that's always nice too. Or, you know, get yourself something nice, become a DM. Uh, run a game. That'd be cool, too. Run a one-shot for your GM. That's like giving a, a, a coupon book to your spouse, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't get you any jewelry, but I'll give you a back rub. 15-minute back rub. I mean, got a coupon for it now. So, I mean, you know. Anyways, um... I don't have any other announcements. I'm prepping Kingmaker. I'm prepping Stolen Fates. Uh, some of you are going to play Stolen Fates, I hope. Um, it's a pretty nuts campaign from what I've prepped so far. Uh, I'm not prepping all of that on stream. I'm kind of doing occasional check-ins uh, on that one. But all of Kingmaker is being prepped on stream. Um, yeah, so it's just same old, same old for me. Anybody else have any announcements? Anything new happening? Uh, well... It's not really an announcement, but tomorrow we have Cyberpunk, and it's one of the last sessions of the campaign. Uh, we probably have this last session and then an epilogue session afterwards, but Dom is to, uh, to estimate correctly. So, you know, mm. 
Wanna come and watch us either all TPK or get maybe happy endings, you know? And that's that's this that's tomorrow night? That's tomorrow night, yeah. For for sure, for real, like eighty percent it's gonna be the final session tomorrow night. Well, I mean I'm just I'm just saying it might be like, you know, another session, but yeah. <laughs> So two two more sessions, two days. There might, there might be two more. But either all way, right. we're like in, we're in the final fight, is what it is. So Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Anyone else? Oh, we're playing Vampire this Saturday, right? Yep. Yep, I'm right. gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then you say, you hype it up, hype it up. What are we doing this uh, Saturday? Oh, this Saturday, we're, you know, re immersing ourselves into the dark city of Boston, playing vampire, wherein a group of perfectly normal individuals uh, lurk in the shadows and explore a world of intrigue. Mm. Nice. Alright. Uh, okay. Don't be scared, guys. Um, the. It's just, it's all fun and games here in Pathfinder. The same, it ain't like we're in Barovia, am I right? Hey. Not yet. Hey. Anyways, have a nice, uh, nice week. And uh, you know, if you have, if you have time, um, if you got, a, you know, some backup characters that you've been thinking about trying out, some other builds, you know, just, just consider it. You know. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, his name yeah. is, you know, uh, um, <laughs> and it's. It's gonna be my paper, cause hey, want to play against Legal. <laughs> Can I become Woodchop? I feel like I really connect with him on a spiritual level. I don't know, Conte, could, they, just, Conte, could they? Could they? Could they be? Uh, could they be Woodchop? You think? Do you know how to play Woodchop? I listen. I feel like I know so much about Woodchop already. <laughs> Well, this 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 timeline's uh, wood chop, you know. There's like different different wood chops, infinite wood chops, and yeah, infinite timelines. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. Uh, uh, fucking, he's he's chaos crew. He's pure chaos crew. I don't, oh, that... I don't think I don't think I can pull chaos. Yeah, I mean we got we got mutant Fossa. I mean that's a backup character waiting to happen. We got rules to play as a dragon. You know, Roxy could maybe say, ah, you know, I, I have my family. They actually suck. <laughs> just just really? because of my Real family. Play. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. You know, the, the actress that plays Pikachu in an interview. She explained the difficulty of trying to give a so much emotion with only a couple of syllables. You know, it's a a lot to it man think about how much that pikachu loves the ketchup huh like how that's an academy award right there like mm, mm. Mm -hmm. all right wait you don't know about pikachu and the ketchup either oh my god all right yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all right well anyways yeah maybe think about you know <clears throat> some other builds you might want to try i don't know this is a pretty this is a pretty rough part of the adventure so um i'm hope i'm hoping and praying for the best here we'll be fine we always right. okay okay maybe um maybe a more cautious approach to hero points next session how's that as a good compromise Oh, what? Literally, I, <laughs> it. I still have an extra one. We were over cautious. We should have been burning through them. Listen, listen, listen. I got a player on Saturdays that rerolls successes because they want to get critical successes. All right. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, you guys, uh, you guys are more frugal than than some. That's all I'm gonna say. You're more frugal than some. First uh, combat, first action. I was swallowed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, fair. Yeah. All right. Everybody have a good night. All right. Good night. All right. Bye. Happy GM's Day. Thank you. It was a really good one. There's so much loot. Oh, man. Hell nice. yeah.